everybody. Oh my gosh, it is here. How excited are you? Because I am incredibly, incredibly stoked. I have been waiting for this day for a while. And uh, yeah, this is OBS, by the way. If you if you don't stream, you may not be familiar with this. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of behind the scenes here because we are waiting for... I hope you all can see Steam right now. Yes, you can. Um, I'm, we're waiting for Dead Space to release. So the Dead Space remake is a well it'll be out in as officially one minute from now assuming it happens on time we don't know uh preloaded everything uh got the day one patch installed and all that and so now now we're just waiting so i'm sitting here refreshing now i'm gonna watch out for this because you know in the past we we did this with elden ring and oh hey my lord chaos good to see you welcome um yes now we play the waiting game we did this with elden ring and we had an issue uh, wait a minute, I got a little bit of echo here. Let me get rid of that real quick before we get started. We had a little bit of an issue with um, uh, the game not releasing, uh, or, or Steam not recognizing that there was a new, the unlock was available for download. I don't know if that was because it was overloaded. I'm hoping that because it is, ah, get up there. I'm hoping that because they're doing this at 8 in the morning. Right now it's, uh, it's officially 8 a.m. Uh, here on the west coast of the United States. Uh, it's 11 a.m. on the east, east coast and so on and so forth. Um, so it is officially like any minute now time. So I may do like one or two little steam refreshes. I'm gonna do one right now just to make sure that like, um, just to make sure that uh, uh, Steam will do like a fresh poll and hopefully like just, you know, confirm whether or not something is out so we don't end up waiting like we did for that. My Lord Chaos, how you feeling? I know that you, uh, you had a, a rough cold, I think, uh, not too long ago. So hope you're feeling better now. All right, we are still, yep, we're still on coming soon status. And it's going to say we have a download, but it's going to check and see, okay, we have the download, but the app is not like not yet released. However, I don't know if you all can see that in the uh, in the bottom of my screen. It is 8.01 officially. So it is, it is about that time. And hopefully any minute now. Uh, it'll kick things off. So I'm hoping that because it's at a little bit of a different time, you know, a lot of people are still uh, still working and such, and so like they're probably gonna check the game out today as it goes on. You're feeling good now? Just a lingering cough here and there. Thanks for the well wishes. Yeah, that cough, man. I have the same thing. Um, when I get a cough, it hangs forever. Like whenever I feel myself getting sick, I'm like, oh my god, please not a cough. I will take any any other symptom will be horrible for a few days. I can live with that. But when I get a cough, I know it'll be there for weeks. I cannot figure it out. I, even when I was a kid, I could never shake a cough. I don't know why. Wait. Oh, it looked like it was... Okay. That was at least a longer hang than it was before. I don't know if that means anything or if it just took, took uh, a minute to hit the server and be like, nope, not yet. So, we're just going to be here. And then as soon as we, uh, as soon as soon uh, this releases, what we'll do is we'll uh, take a minute to get it all set up because I want to make sure everyone can see everything and that everything's cropped properly. Uh, and then we will dive in straight away. Um, you know, we've been talking about this for months. Is it live? I mean, I'm looking. It doesn't seem to be. Now, what I'm going to do, because I learned my lesson from Elden Ring, is we are going to close this and we're just going to we're going to do a couple of relaunches here. Just whenever we see signs of life. Because um, when Steam does a relaunch, it will uh, do a fresh call to its servers and be like, hey, is there anything that Kevin needs to download? And there is. There really, really is. All right, let's see here. Come yeah, on. Okay. Okay. Glad the game is getting awesome reviews. Yeah, me too. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, um, the Dead Space remake, uh, it had its uh, emb review embargo. Land release date coming soon. Oh, this is new. Okay, they're doing something behind the scenes. Obviously, it is coming out today. Um, but they definitely, this just posted, this available content for the Digital Deluxe Edition. We're not going to get that. Um, let's see if that changes things. No, okay, not really released. They're definitely doing something behind the scenes. That all was not there just a few minutes ago. Um, but yeah, uh, thankfully the reviews, uh, that have been, uh, that have, uh, that have come out have been very positive. I think like the lowest I think I saw was an eight out of 10. Um, with a lot of it up in the 9, 9.5, basically saying, like, this is, like, now the best version of the game that's out there. Um, and, oh, man, it's, uh, it's so great to see that. I know that, obviously, a lot of people had high hopes for the Callisto Protocol, and unfortunately felt a little bit let down by that one. I think there's, there's, I do think there's potential in that world, and I really, really do hope 
that uh, they do the work to uh, to make that game good. Um, and I think they could. You know, the DLC is coming out. That could change a lot. Um, I don't know. It depends on like how much more they're planning to uh, invest in that world. But if they do, man, it could be something special. Um, but you know, they did. Re they rushed a fair amount to release. Uh, you know, the the common thread is that people think that there is a. Um, uh, they were trying to beat Dead Space to market, and that's why. You heard there's a secret ending? Yes. I heard that there is an ending that's available uh, in New Game Plus uh, that was not part of the original Dead Space. Now, I'm curious to see how much of that is canon, because um, I don't know. Uh, obviously, you know, I haven't played it yet. Um, but apparently, like, they've added some small things to it. The big thing that, uh, that I'm interested to see how they handle is apparently... At least so I'm told, you know, obviously haven't played it yet, as you can see, um, is that you find out what happens in Nicole. And, or rather, we, the players, find that out. Will Isaac find that out? I don't know. Um, because that was never... Ooh, ooh, oh, it hung for a second. All right. Uh, that was never disclosed in, um, in Dead Space 1. And then even in Dead Space 2, um, when he's hallucinating Nicole, uh, she mocks him about the fact that he never found her body and, like, is she a necromorph? You know, you don't even know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so because of that, I mean, I feel like, you know, it'd be interesting to see how this kind of holds up canon-wise. Okay, so we're still on coming soon. Hey, HP on Gaming. Good to see you. Welcome. We are uh, we are sitting here, hitting refresh on Dead Space. Um, the, uh, the store just changed, uh, or this uh, just changed from... Uh, the date uh, that it was supposed to be released today to coming soon and they just put out some new content that just dropped is the digital deluxe upgrade if we were so inclined it's just a couple of cosmetics so it's not anything that I'm interested in but like you know hey, if you want to support the devs that's cool um, so theoretically we should be there any minute now have you been uh... oh on gaming I meant to ask um you, uh, you just tried Fallout New Vegas for the first time on your channel. How'd that go? I know, uh, NGP on Gaming, if you're interested, does a lot of, like, uh, it does a lot of, uh, horror games, survival games, and then, uh, just got into, uh, New Vegas. Awesome. Good. Glad to hear it. That game is so much fun. That's probably my favorite PC game. I'd love to do a stream of it. Um, did you have to turn off the music? Because I had to do that. I noticed um, the first time I did it, I left the music on and then just came back to, like, just a slew of copyright strikes. Not, not copyright strikes, but, like, copyright notices. All right, we'll keep going. They're doing something behind the scenes, clearly. And we're just waiting. Oh, yeah, so this was uh, Fallout New Vegas, not Rainbow Six Vegas. I've never played the Rainbow Six games. Are they good? That happened to you in 4. Oh, yeah, you did Fallout 4 as well. Let's close out the stuff we don't need here. And we're just waiting for Steam. Like, at this point, it's basically either EA trying to get the uh, trying to get the codes out, uh, the unlock codes out, or it's the, um, it's the servers uh, for Steam getting hit. Who's to say? Okay, we're still planned release date coming soon. Yeah, look at the downloads. And every time we re we uh, we refresh Steam, we'll just have to do a quick uh, check on that here. But any minute now. Cloud status says up to date, so there's that. That's good. I'll just pop on over to another one. And see, okay, so still can't play it. Rainbow Six is as good as uh, as good as can be, but uh, let's just say a mixed experience. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it a mixed experience? I never got into the Tom Clancy games. I know that like they're a huge subset of, of gaming right now, but I don't know for some reason I just uh, never never jumped out of me as something I like needed to take the time to play. The fan base can be toxic. Yeah, ugh, that's the worst. I used to play um, Payday 2 a lot, and I kind of felt that from the fan base. Not everybody. I met some cool people on there. Um, so I'm not going to paint the whole, like, uh, fan base as toxic, but I did meet a few people that you could tell were just kind of going out of their way to, uh, make other people's lives harder on that game, and it's like, it just ruins your experience as a player, you know? We're all just there to have fun and rob banks. Alright, we are, we're gonna refresh Steam again, and see if it gives us a fresh call here. Any minute now. 
Seems a little sluggish, not sure whether or not that is me downloading one item complete. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay, it's downloading something. All right, that's waking up. Now, it says 36 gigs. Now, I don't know that that's actually gonna be the case. I was just unpacking it. All right, so it's doing it's, doing its work. Um, so, let's see. Uh, we downloaded a day one patch this morning um, that was, still, you know, pretty significant. Um, so now it's just taking all that, unpacking it all. So as you can see here, it says an hour, but it's definitely like it's running pretty, uh, pretty quickly here. So hopefully we will, uh, we'll be up and running, but it looks like, it looks like it's out. Uh, let me just see. Are we able to, okay. It says it's, yeah, it's unpacking all this. All right. We are almost here folks. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. As soon as uh, as soon as we uh, we get rolling on this, then we'll uh, we'll kick it off. I am um, I've watched the first of course the first like 18 minutes of this. IGN released the first 18 minutes not too long ago, and I I really enjoyed it. Um, I was and of course obviously we'll see it here in a second. Um, it felt like one thing that I I feel like remake fans uh, remake uh, companies don't really do that much is like I think they focus a lot on capturing a new audience as you know any game property would but I feel like there's usually not as much attention paid to the folks who are coming back and seeing this something they're very familiar with with fresh eyes and there was enough that was changed that it felt like I wasn't just going to watch like a flashy version of something I already knew. Um, that it was actually going to be like additive for me as someone who has played the original Dead Space over and over and over again. Um, any uh, scene in particular I'm interested in rewatching? Um, <clears throat> what do I want to rewatch? Gosh. Um, I'm curious to see how they're going to handle. Uh, specifically, Hammond and Kendra are two characters that are obviously, you know, very, you know, um, intrinsic to the game here, and we haven't seen much of them. We've seen them both, um, and you know, they they have been, you know, kind of like they've been recast. So we have all new voice actors for everybody, and obviously now Gunnar Wright from Dead Space Two and Three is now doing the voice for Isaac. Um, but it was interesting to see like how their characterization was handled a little more subtly but still present which which i appreciated like um kendra was still suspicious of hammond hammond was still very thorough and, and was very you know militaristic and strict and all that um but uh watch it playing going back to the original they felt very uh rigid and it felt very like we have to get these archetypes across whereas in this version they were able to be a little bit more subtle with each other. It didn't feel like Kendra was like immediately insubordinate or anything like that. Like she is kind of in the original game. Um, now, if that 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 uh, holds up, I don't quite know. Um, Nicole also seems like I, I like the new Nicole. Um, she's always an element that's not handled great. Um, in the first game, you know, her delivery was still pretty wooden, and I don't know if that was a stylistic choice to say, well. We want her to be, you know, a little unsettling, you know, like we want you to not really trust that everything's okay when you see Nicole. Um, you're looking forward to the Hunter intro scene. Oh, man. I still have PTSD from playing it on Impossible Mode. Um, if you weren't here for that, we, we did a, um, we played the original Dead Space on Impossible. Um, the room where we died the most in the entire campaign was in chapter five where we are stuck inside like the medical wing with the hunter. And you have to kill all of the other monsters while managing the hunter, who of course will regenerate and keep coming after you. And ammo is scarce and the, the monsters hurt much more than usual. And so like, you're basically just running in circles the entire room, just trying so hard to stay alive and keep the monster at bay, the hunter at bay. It was rough. Um, I think we died 32 times in that room. Of course, we had the death counter on, which we do for today. Um, and uh, I don't know. The, my heart rate keeps saying it's in, the, it's in the 70s. That feels low to me, especially going back and watching the Dead Space 2 footage. But we're almost there. Look at that. We're about three quarters of the way through unpacking this. And oh, man. Oh, it is freaking time. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Am I looking forward to playing it? That I don't know, but we'll find out. You remember that part of the stream very well. At least you're ready for it. Yeah, at least I know what I'm in for. 
You know, I mean, it'll look it'll look cooler and probably scarier. So I don't know if I'm ready for that. But I at least have uh, I'm very familiar with the hunter um, how how it plays out in the original game. that time we'll have to do a little bit of a finagling behind the scenes here you get to see you know if you don't stream you get to see kind of like what this all looks like uh on the back end trying to get everything ready but we are just going to rush into it as quickly as we can and then start the game um let's see here okay almost it's close we've got uh let's see a few more seconds and then we're good all right let's see Take it. Ah, it's that last little guy. There we go. Oh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to start it. It's probably going to start like uh, you're not going to be able to see it at first. I'm going to have to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we will. Wait, maybe. Maybe it's going to be fine. Okay. It's probably going to like log me into the EA app and such. So like um, I think you all should be able to see my screen right now. Okay. So I appreciate the building shaders. Thank you. After. This is going to be a whole experience for you. It's going to be a whole experience for me, too. Oh, my gosh. Um, I think you look – if you can see it on the left, they have a whole, like, little building shaders thing where they're pre-compiling all the shaders. I don't know if that is a straight reaction to Callisto Protocol, but that's funny. Oh, man. I am uh, – let's see. All right. I am going to – okay, so you guys – yeah, you can't see it. All right, so it's in the bottom left. You can see all the, 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 the shader uh, – uh, compilation is occurring right now. It's taking a moment to do that, but you know what? Go ahead. Hold me up for a minute so that it, you know we don't get any stuttering. I appreciate that. I imagine a lot of people who played the Callisto Protocol on launch would also appreciate that. Um, it is still going. And then uh, we'll need to do a little bit of finagling just to make sure that this is ready for, uh, for prime time for streaming here. And then shortly after, we'll get going. Okay, so we still have... We've got the logo in the right, and it's still moving. All right. Uh, shader compilation is still happening. Okay, we got the user agreement now. Yes, I accept. Uh, epilepsy health warnings. Yeah, should point that out, of course. Uh, there is uh, There will probably be a lot of flashing of lights in this. Content warning. Okay, all right. So, uh, graphic violence, and also, uh, yeah, we'll be in the stream, and also uh, there will be discussion of self harm as part of the plot. Um, kind of can't get around that. Uh, if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's cool. All right. Now, uh, what we're gonna do? I believe that subtitles on. Uh, let's see. We are gonna do a couple of things here. I think we're gonna start off. On medium, I do want the inverted camera. We're going to go to more settings. All right. So I do want to make some changes here so that we can do this properly. First off, video options. We are going to go to uh, windowed mode. And the reason, let's see. <laughs> V-sync. Let's apply that. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, we are going to... See, that's a little smallish, but that's fine. Uh, all right, so now I need to change how this appears. So we're going to say I want to capture a specific window, and I want that window to be dead space. Okay, now there we go. Now let's go ahead and bring that on out so everyone can see it, and we're just going to drop that a little bit so the digital rain doesn't come up. There it is. Okay, good. Uh, cool. All right, now that's there. Uh, we'll have to make some additional changes momentarily, but that's all right. Uh, let's see. Can I stretch this window? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely uh, I definitely want to make sure everyone can see everything here. Uh, okay. Now, let's see. I cannot change the resolution, which is interesting. What if I went to borderless? Does that... No, borderless is kind of the same thing. Okay, so it's interesting. I can only... I'm going to drop it to 1080p just to make sure... That because we're going to be also streaming on TikTok here in a moment, I want to make sure that everybody can uh, can enjoy this. Um, and I can't stream above 1080p right now, so that's going to mean that like, there we go. Uh, that's going to mean that the game is going to be able to run smoothly. One would hope. And we're going to pop back out to window mode. 
Okay, which is great. We have a little bit of... Uh, no, no, don't revert. Okay, good. Uh, cool. All right. Set that space is up. That's up. Let me see. I still can't... I can't make the, the window bigger, unfortunately, but we will roll with that. Uh, okay. Let me just re... Okay. Uh, let's see. High dynamic range. Sure, we can do that. Uh, V-Sync we want on. Okay. Uh, brightness, because I have, yeah, left is barely, I'm going to bring it up just a bit, because I do have a bunch of lights on me right now, and I want to make darn sure that everybody can see, uh, motion blur is, uh, off, we are PC players, we don't like motion blur, colorblind mode, we're good, dynamic resolution, I'm going to hold back a little bit, let's see, uh, anti-aliasing, DLSS is fine, balance is probably good, Graphic mode quality will, let's see. Hmm. Uh, let's see, I was on auto. And it's a little sluggish. Yeah, let's go custom. Uh, light quality. Yeah, we're on 1080p. We should be able to crank this. All right. I just want to make sure. I think the subtitles are on, but I just want to make sure everybody can see them. They are. Let's see. I'm going to bring... I'm just looking at the subtitles here. Okay, we're bringing it up just a little bit. White on black is probably good. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, we selected the difficulty. We're just going to go as medium for the first playthrough. We might do an impossible mode playthrough as we go on. Uh, we'll see. All right, cool. Uh, now that I think we're just about ready. Uh, the last thing I want to do is just get our friends on TikTok on, which is also going to take just a moment, unfortunately, because, uh, we have to, oh, wait a minute. Uh, we have to, uh, do all the same stuff. We have to get the dead space setting on and make sure that they can see that too. Okay. Shouldn't take long. And then we'll go ahead and go live. Okay. All right. We are officially live on TikTok. We are live on YouTube. Uh, oh, I need to get the chat for TikTok. There we go. Okay. All right. We are live on both. And I'm going to get this back up. I'm just looking at the... Just looking at the audio output. Just making sure I'm not going to drown you all. Let's see. OBS is a little, it's interesting. It's a little sluggish. That's okay. Um, now I have it on. Let's see. I want to make sure you all can hear that. So I think what we're going to do is because I did not have a chance to set this up beforehand, we'll turn on the desktop audio and that should get us there. Hmm. Let's see. And I'm just looking to see if we need to if we need to go in and mess with it, we will. Of course, I want to make sure you all can hear this game. Of all games, to not be able to hear. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's try doing that. There we go. There's my subtle music there. Okay, I'm just going to I'm doing a couple little tests just because OBS is it is doing a lot right now, but it isn't loading my decibel levels, and I just want to make sure we're not going to drown you all. So it might be a little loud. Um, okay, I think that seems good. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to see if I can... I'm just seeing if I can stretch this for myself just a little bit. Is there a streamer mode for this game? I don't think so. Um... I looked into settings here. I didn't see a streamer mode. It'd be nice. We didn't go into all of the settings here. We could do that real quick. Uh, single press quick time. Uh, quick time events are one with a single press of a button. That's fine. The, the quick time events aren't hard in this game. Um, I think the only ones that are uh, are a little challenging might be the uh, the tentacle drag. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything streamer mode wise. Oh, well. 
All right, folks. I think we might be ready. I think we can all see everything. We should be able to hear everything. Okay. All right, folks. It is that time. We've been waiting for a long time for this. I'm stoked about this, and I hope you are too. Let's dive in. And of course, we're gonna open up with Nicole's message to Isaac, I presume. We have our security personnel who have names for once. Haley Johnson and Aiden Chen. Isaac, it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. She looks like she's been through hell for the last couple of days. Everything. When granted, oh, canonically she has. To someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. Such a little thing indeed. All right, here we have Isaac. Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. We're five minutes out. You First you've heard from her. That's interesting. Guess you really miss her. Okay, all right. They, they acknowledge that he's been watching it. He turned down, but six months apart with only vid calls. It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlet reciting security protocols. <laughs> Forewarned is forearmed, Miss Daniels. Yeah, so see, there's always a little bit of biting, go. but it's not nice overtly so. Here's Age of Seven. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. I like the new Hammond. Some place. prospecting team set up for life. We still haven't seen the Ishimori yet, but it's coming. The space there. jump. Oh, the sound effect we might be new. Yeah, it could be. What a beauty. There it is. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why and is that's... it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. It's interesting Someone's to see where they kept to the things. original script and Just where they changed the it. We'll talk about that. I'm not in a taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. I don't want to I don't want to talk over the cutscenes no too chances, much, huh? but like Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? Yeah, you track your file access. I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <laughs> Is this the Sorry. big leagues? We're I don't know. Range. I never got the sense that this was like, you know. Uh, a, a glorious Ishimura. mission. This is the emergency here. maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is a USG Kelly. Heavy Metal Mini said you just downloaded excited to jump in. Me too. Come on. Someone just unlocked and ready to go. Wait, Brian, it said 4 p.m. again? Really? What the hell is that? That's weird. Sorry about that. Sounds like their communication I, I did put up the ones busted. for tomorrow and Sunday Maybe as well. That might be the issue. Encoder. We need an analysis video. Oh, you will get one, my friend. Max. You're going to get one. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson. Yeah, this is definitely seat. my next video for the main channel. Gravity tethers engaged. Um, All right. Docking. Gravity tethers going in. Surely this will go well. Or not. We're losing control. Daniel! Guidance system override isn't responding. Shit. Shit, we're coming in too hot. It's gonna smash us into the hole. Chen, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Got it. Drop the flash shield. Everyone break this up. We're gonna turn down the audio in just a little bit. I know it's a bit Everyone loud okay? right now. Sorry about that. As soon as the cutscene ends, we'll do that. Hey, Johnston. All right. I just don't want to interrupt that. It's my ankle. Oh, and there's our. Be broken. There's our opening. Shit. But better than a broken neck, or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. Gotta always read the manual. What yeah. the fuck's <laughs> going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Comps are down. We lost support booster. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers and singularity cores of mess. Oh yeah. Could be worse. This than is of course our, our objectives Let's in the opening levels here. Johnston, 
Stay with the Kellyan. We'll send a medic. Everyone else? Okay, I want to talk me. about that. Hold on. So in the original game, both of the, the space marines here who guide them go with the team and of course end up in the flight lounge and get immediately shish kebab. But this now, this person here, she stays. So I don't know exactly what they're planning to do with that. Like, um, Stoic Narwhal, is there anything louder than mute? Um, it's Did actually, it's still pretty loud awesome. right now, but just a second here. I am going to swap over to OBS and actually bring it down a little bit, but I want to make sure that TikTok is getting the, okay, TikTok is getting sound. Um, so I just, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it is come. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's right. It's not because we had an issue with that. So we are going to save and okay. So now we should be able to get uh, sound on TikTok because we did not have a chance to do our sound setup like we normally do. So I just want to make sure before uh, before we, we get off and running, just that everybody is set up. Um, let's see. Okay. All right. That should be good. Uh, now I'm going to drop the audio on OBS just a little bit. Oh, it was working. Oh, you were getting it. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. All right. So then maybe it was fine. Um, let's see. Can't watch it. I'm, I'm getting a lot of people who are popping in saying, uh, like, this is great, but I don't want to watch it because I want to play it myself. And I don't blame you. I'm kind of the same way, too. All right. The ambient noise on here should be okay. I'm just trying to make sure that we maintain I our, like, typical audio ratios. You go get help. <laughs> I will get there. I will get there. I promise. All right. She is trying to tell me, like, hey, get out. Go play the game. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. All right, off we go. So I don't have any uh, don't have any weapons yet, of course. But look, here is the the Kellyan. Now, remember last time there was a med pack back here. There's a text log. All right. So we got our tech log. This is uh, to Zach Hammond. Background request. Here's what we can find under specials. Oh, these are the uh, the background checks. Oh, they're getting mad at me. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I will go out there in a second. All right. Let's go. Sparks flying everywhere. Stoic Narwhal says security suit better be in game. I freaking hope so, man. All right, let's see. I'm just looking, just messing with our controls. We don't have a lot yet. Pretty much just walking like everything's normal. Isaac, guess we better go. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, here's our crew. We got Kendra Hammond and then one of the two Space Marines. The other one is chilling out in the Kellyan. I imagine we'll find her later on. That's true. The sign is, uh, look at that sign. It's got so much more grime on it than the original. Like, uh, it was, they were just like perfectly bright letters last time, and now they just, they really look very worn. Uh, Jay Mantra, yes, this is the uh, Dead Space remake. Just came out this morning about 30 minutes ago. May as well get signed in. All right. Now, of course, I don't have my stomp yet. Last time there were stompable boxes in here. I don't see them at the moment. Oh, they're going to ask me. Welcome, Isaac Clark, to the USG Ishimura. That's about the only welcome I'm going to get from this ship. Oh, look at that. Rig synced. Collect kinesis and stasis modules from acting chief engineer Jacob Temple. You know, if I remember Location right, uh, Jacob Temple has other error. problems right now. Employee not found. Uh, I can't read security. Jay Mantra, this is a remake of the original game. What is wrong with their comms? Isaac's current look is similar to a wetsuit. Let's take a look at that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. While we're at it, yeah, let's take a look at Isaac's suit. Uh, I'm going to try to stand in the light here. Of course, all of his colleagues are like, what the hell are you doing, dude? But yeah, it it it, it kind of looks like it. We were talking about this with one of the Dead Space 2 suits. Is He, he kind of started to look at a big daddy. Like, all he needs is a drill. His helmet isn't super lit up. I actually don't mind that. It's a little... It's a little creepier that way. Yeah, what light? Yeah, there's not a ton of light here. There's a little bit, but I have to stand perfectly in frame. All right, let's let's uh, let's press on. All right, so the door is now unlocked. And let's go in the flight lounge. Surely this will go fine. So this, all right, first of all, I love the departure board. This really just feels like a flight lounge in a sense. Yeah, he's got a bit of a big daddy vibe with the big brown suit. 
All right, Kendra and Hammond are gonna fight, I presume, like they Solomon do in the original game. We are gonna go in our Where's little safe zone. Detail? Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. No duty roster. No power to the elevator. Safe station we can't use just yet. For God's sake. Ooh. That security console is still working. Another text Isaac, log. Get a damage report. I'm done playing around. This is a sponsored article for the USG Ishimura. We will uh, we will come back to that in a bit. In fact, you know what? Let's just check it out right now. Just because the yes, you all know the fun is about to start. Um, okay. Smell that? Smell Imagine what? a world where basic Something resources like fuel oh. or metals, ice are hard to come by. Okay, so this is yeah, this is just a big old PR release for the USG Ishimura. All right. Let's go. Thanks for liking the live, folks. Oh, vibes, uh, vibes, nice. Thanks for following. All right. Let's see here. We've got. All right. Here's the security console. So I'm just taking a look real quick before everything pops off, because as you all know, it's about to. Um, yeah, God, I love the uh, you know the lighting placement on here. You can see like there's a lot more computer monitors than there were before, and that's providing most of the light in the room. Uh, we've got a little bit. We got this guy right up here, but most of this is all lit up from screens. And oh my God, the environment detail is awesome. I, I will get to it, Hammond. I promise. All right, let's load up the damage report and uh, see how this goes. All right. Oh, so the Ishimura no. is uh, is in rough shape. What have you got, Isaac? Shit. You never played the original, Brian. You started on two. Oh man, you're in for a treat. It's super good. Ishimura's in the red. Engines hull. I saw you said you uh, you have a PS4, so uh, you won't be able to play this on there. But um, yeah, this is uh, so far. I'm really into this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be. Yeah, probably not. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Yeah, they're working well. Wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Take it easy. Daniel, get those elevators running. There's something in here with us. Up there! Oh! oh, 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 oh that's awesome. Daniel, get the doors open. Okay, that's our cue. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Okay, so it's... Holding down the left stick is the run. I'm gonna have to get used to that, but that's fine. We'll deal with that later. Oh god, they're everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, hit that, thank you. Okay, now. Just, this is our first close-up look. Oh, gross. Steven Clopper, thanks for following. Rai Guy, it is here. We are just gonna go for as long as I can talk today. The red lighting looks so good straight out of Aliens. I agree. This actually, this does have a real Aliens vibe to it so far. Okay, so there's a guy, if we remember right, there's a guy who's stuck back there who... Okay, can I stomp these things yet? I don't have my melee yet. Okay, I have it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look at this here. Yeah, we still got that. All right, good. Uh, let's see. Can I open these boxes? I, I know what that thing is on the table. We will get to that in a second. Plasma energy. And credits. Okay. Uh, is this a, a graphical upgrade or more to it? There have been some notable changes, um, but, like, small changes. Like, just enough that it's, like, interesting for folks who have played it a lot, like me. Um, but so far, it's been pretty faithful. But let's see. All right. Now, this is good. I like the lighting here. It's not as obvious like, in the original game, the, the cut off their limbs was very, like, lit up, and it was very, like, attention drawing, whereas here, it's almost, if you don't know to look for it, you might miss it. Imagine trying to survive this if it happened to you. Man, I don't want to. I am glad I don't need to. Lumine Snake, am I going to beat the full game today? I doubt it. Um, we're definitely going to go for a couple of hours, though. Um, but here, let's see real quick. All right, we're going to get our friend... The Plasma Cutter. And now we have an actual animation for it. This wasn't in the original game. Stegosaurus Tom, thanks for following. Yeah, that is all new right there. Nice. Dakota Kundiff, thanks for following. 
Uh, Deej, how much is the remake? I think it's uh, $60 on PC and $70 uh, American on uh, consoles. Let's see. Plasma Cutter looks like it works more or less like it always has. Okay. Oh, there's the light from DS2 is on there. I don't think the original had a light attached as well. Uh, just like before, RB, uh, right button uh, on my controller here. Adjust whether that's left or right. I don't think... Okay, I have... Now, that's a punch. Oh, they remapped that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I change that? That is going to drive me freaking crazy. Um, I don't know that I can. They swapped the, uh, the punch and the stomp button. And that is going to annoy the heck out of me. Hold on, hold on. Can I change that back? I hope so, so much. Oh, my God. Um, they've already remapped some of the controls. So we're going to... Oh, wait. No, not that. It's going to be left button. All right, cool. All right. Now, uh, melee. Where's my melee? All right. Stomp. You are going to be right button. And then melee, you are going to be right trigger as God intended. Oh, wait. Um, yes. Okay. Let's try that again. That's stomp. That's man. Oh! Neat! No, you can't change it to the old settings. Actually, well, Johnny, you can manually do it, thankfully. Um, oh, you can. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I was like, there is no way I'm going to remember that, and I'm going to screw up in fights, like, all day. Okay. So this is going to be our first fight with the Necromorphs. T-Swifty, thanks for following. Joe Hall, thanks for following. Can I just punch these again? I can. All right. Let's open you up. Ooh. Out here. Oh, sorry, bud. All right. Ooh, you're still coming. All right, so that was two hits to both limbs to take that down. And get my plasma. Ugh. You can make it Dead Space 1 settings or Dead Space 2 settings in accessibility. Wait, really? Uh, I want to... Okay, hang on. That's a great, that's a great thought because I want to do just that um <laughs> going to accessibility looking for controller layouts i don't see i don't see that there but there is a control section it might be an accessibility in the start um we have controller customization okay we were in there before that's just the layout control presets okay there we go yeah yeah, yeah. okay let's do ds1 And that should be... Yeah. Okay. There we are. Phew! It's in controller settings. Yeah, it seems like it's in controller settings. That's fine. We got there. That's all that matters. Like, the, um... So, the default is holding down the left stick to run, and I was never gonna remember that. All good, Johnny. We got there. Yeah, I'm glad that the developers thought of this, too. It's been so tough because, like, so I've been streaming Dead Space 2, and I'm definitely gonna, like, forget about that. Uh, there's some subtle differences between Dead Space 1 and 2. All right. We're supposed to be going that way, which naturally means we're going to go look over here for stuff. I don't have my Kinesis or Stasis module just yet. I almost want to swap to the Dead Space 2 defaults. T-Swifty, this game is a core memory. I agree with you. Although I just streamed this, uh, this game not too long ago, so it's a pretty recent memory for me. Security request retrieved. Ooh, what is this? All logs and rig link will record in the database. Shot that fucker okay. right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. Is that for the original sake, voice actor? Help. That's a new clip, but that sounds very, very close to the original. Kai, am I playing this on console? Nope, we are playing this on Steam. This is the PC version. Okay, you seem like you're dead. I assume no one's gonna, like, jump out at me. Uh-oh. Oh, we have a small med pack. Oh, the med packs look cute. I like it. This is your first Dead Space game. Johnny, oh my god, you are in for a treat. Uh, Dead Space 1 and 2 are incredible. Playing this for the first time. I mean, like, and this is true of, like, a lot of people say this, like, this is how the original looked in your head. Um, but honestly, like, the environments definitely felt like that. And uh, Mylar Cast, thank you for uh, for mentioning that. Yes, uh, for folks on YouTube, uh, please do subscribe if, you, uh, if you're if you enjoying the stream here. I stream Saturdays and Sundays at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're doing a special Friday stream this morning. Those on TikTok, uh, oh, wait a minute. The link is not in my bio because I didn't update it because I wasn't thinking about that. And we are going to fix that right now. 
so that uh, we will move people over to my live channel because right now it's it's moving people over to the wrong place there we go okay now we're back on um all right awesome uh did i pre-order it and get special armors uh no i did not pre well i did pre-order it because i knew i was gonna play it anyway um ooh, i didn't mention death base 3 you're right i did not that was not a mistake lord six probably isaac. oh my god isaac. okay now here's Maybe. hammond and kendra Just, across the platform they're everywhere Shen, is he, uh... He's gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? Hammond the is very I calm. Saw, I would not be so calm right now. Some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Yeah, Hammond is, Hammond's got some big porn. Chad vibes And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? All right, let's see. So Kendra's gonna There's look up the, tram car blocking the, tunnel. It's the status of the tram. System. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? I'm She'll sure she's okay, thing. too. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Hammond is part of the military. Yeah, he's got to stay, uh, got to stay, uh, you know, part of the mission. He's got to make sure he's, he's the leader of the team here. All right, so there's Hammond and Kendra going to take off. Oh, we can't, uh, I can't aim at them because it's just going to reflect off the screen, which is a great effect. I appreciate that. That's, uh, that would be weird if it didn't happen. All right. So we have to go. There is a broken tram car that is blocking the, uh, the track and the data board is fried so the tram won't run. So we got to do, take care of both of those things here. And we will do just that. Here's our save station. Ooh, we got credits. Take those. I'm looking around. You know, the environments are so detailed that, like, now the items don't jump out at me anymore like they used to. They're not big and glowing. Oh, man. Okay, we've got our first power node, I think. Nope, that is plasma energy. That's just a cabinet. All right. Uh, and then a locker. All right. So we came in over there. I think I saw... We got two doors, actually. There is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was this here before? Oh, I know where we're going. Okay, this is the way we're supposed to go. And then that's where the data board is. All right, so let's go... Let's go out this way. We're going to get our stasis module. I can already hear that door slamming. Oh, it's so dark. I turned the brightness up for this, and it's still dark. But, like, in a good way. That's new. That wasn't there before. Let me see. Do you have anything? No. The human bodies rarely do have stuff for us. Okay, so... Oh, man, that sound. So here's here's something that's interesting. Uh, this is where our first leaper is going to show up when we come back. And normally, I think there's a door, like, right here. And then this part is in the next room. So this is going to mean if we don't take out that leaper quickly, uh, we're going to have to deal with it going all the way up that ramp. That is a new development. He was dropping in to say hello, and he did. Appreciate him saying hello as his last act on this earth, maybe, assuming he doesn't reincarnate. All right, so we got our stasis door right here and our stasis module. Jose, thanks for following. I don't know if you can hear that. He said, oh, cool. All right, we got three, three hits with this. And it's just wide. Ooh. Ooh, that took a chunk out of me. That was a little too close. All right. Wait a minute. Bringing the door malfunction between you and the maintenance bay. Okay, hold on. No, but I found a stasis module. I'm faster than... I got it. Oh, interesting. Hold on. Uh, so I'm trying to throw my stasis, and it keeps bringing up the menu. And I'm trying to figure out if I am doing it wrong. No, okay. Why a stasis? I'm not I'm not making that up. Uh, okay. Oh, there it goes. All right. Let's get through there real quick. It took a second. I wonder if, like... It was still on whatever the pre-stasis mode was. 
Uh, Love Millie, is this just remastered? I mean, this is a full uh, rebuild from the ground up. If my face is packed, I will take that. Um, so, it, I mean, it is like, it's not just a higher resolution version of the original game. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Perfectly fine. Okay. Wow. That was huge. Uh, now, in the original game, nothing jumps out at you here yet. Uh, let's see. That door is locked. That door is locked. But I think there's some stuff in the rest room. I'm going to get my stasis upgrade here. There's always good, there's always good stuff in here, but what does this say? Uh, what is it? Um, uh, ooh, inside the vents. Ooh, yep, yep. Now, will there be something inside the vents in here? That I don't know. Ugh. Why are there lockers in a bathroom? Well, I guess maybe it's a locker room. Too hard. Credits. Now, I'm curious to see. Now, apparently... Ooh, more plasma. Yeah! Apparently, they do more dynamic spawning in this game. Even more than they did originally. Um, where, like, sometimes there will be a monster, um, and then if you die and uh, re replay the level, sometimes there won't be. So they're going to keep you on your toes as much as they possibly can. All right. Let's see. Okay, I think that's it for here. All right, so it's just like a unisex bathroom. They don't have them split, it seems. I'm d I know that door is locked. I just want to see if there's anything I need down here. Nope, there's not. All right, let's go. You wish they would have made four instead of a redo. I mean, I could see, if I'm EA, I would probably want to spend less money on a remake rather than an original game because I want to see if there's still appetite for this game. Now, the reason there, there might not have been appetite is because EA did such a poor job with Dead Space 3. Um, but, I mean, I think this might be the gateway to Dead Space 4 happening. If this is a hit. I mean, I'm very impressed as the I target think, audience. Don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. They might still be alive after all that. Ugh. All right, what do we have here? Med medium med pack. Give me that. Is there more back here? No, just that. Okay. All right, and I think this is the area with the tram. Here's the power node. Let's see. Yeah, they're a lot less bright in this version. And the plasma energy. So this is where the broken tram is. So we're going to have to use our stasis module on this. Message retrieved. Let's get the audio log. Vents into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. Okay. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one could be. You know? I know. I know. There's Temple. We will meet Temple a lot uh, in the coming chapters. So these are the uh, the grip hands for their broken tram, which is right there. So we need to uh, engage that in order to pull the tram off the rails. However, I'm going to come over here first. Now, in the original game, we got pounced on pretty early on here. I don't know if we have to engage the claws first. Look at the vents. Oh, there's actual motion on the vent fans. That's that's great. I'm just going to collect real quick before we do anything special here. Okay, let's go. Are they going to remake the other games? I don't know. Maybe. Um, I could see a case for remaking 2. 2 is still very much a fan favorite. We've been streaming 2, and I've been really surprised at how many fans have come out of the woodwork for it. All right. So we're going to open the shutters. Prepare systems online. And that's going to expose the broken car. On console, it was pretty dark originally. Yeah. Autoloader malfunction. I suppose Please so. Please contact a repair technician. You'd love a Dead Space 2 remake, Brian? Me too. All right. So now we have to manually attach the claws. I think, is this the one? I think this one will attach correctly. Uh oh. Oh man, you can really just hear the wet, like, smack against their, uh, against... Ooh, that reload animation is sweet. 
Uh, yeah, you could really hear just like the wet smack as things like hit their claws. Two is elite. I agree. Two is two is really kind of like developed a special place in my heart over the years. All right, so this one will stay. So what's gonna have to happen is we have to uh, put this new one on, and then hit it with stasis to keep it in place. Uh, let's go do that right now. Do we have anybody jumping out at us? Sure do. Are you dead? I don't know if you're dead. I think you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. All right, cool. Two made the game more interesting. Two was a good way. Uh oh, was a good way to show off. Ooh, first hit. Two was a really good way to introduce new lore without having to like spoon feed it to us. Like it was a great way to like just increase, like uh, release that through experience. Nathan Reacher, thank you for following. All right, let's engage the claw. Hit it with Nathan. Disengage. Never mind, I missed it. Let's try that again. Oh, I'm about to hit the bars. That's cool. All right. Now, before that fades off, let's go pull the tram off. Replacing damaged tram car. Please stand by. Anyone coming at me? No, not so far. Use a bunch of numbers. Thanks for following. And the tram car is off. So now that clears the line. I think, I think you were this way. You know what's interesting? So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta practice stasis. Um, animations on limbs are on point. I agree. Whoa! Yeah, did you see? You could really see the bones on that. That was awesome. All right, I'm gonna use that pack. There we go. So one thing that's interesting: the um, getting hit. Uh, with the plasma cutter does not seem to stagger them. I don't know if that's an upgradable thing that we'll get later, but like, um, well, yeah, watch this one. Like, they barely seem bothered. Ooh. All right. They really don't seem to stop when you, uh, when you hit them with this thing. That's one down. You said a data board was fried too? Inventory says there's a spare board in the maintenance bay. Lucid, thanks we can't for following. Run the trams without it. All right, we gotta get the data board. And I think there might be another one that's gonna pop out here. Let's see. If I remember correctly. Were you here before? I don't have my stasis module yet, so I can't test the bodies. All right. I think we're good. Anyone? No, we're fine. All right, good. Phew. All right, let's. I thought I heard something. Was that just the door? All right. I gotta get used to all the new sound effects. Okay, here's the leaper. Where are you? All right, we are gonna deal with you. I'm out of stasis, so let's uh, get that back. Stasis station, I missed it. Nope, we're good. I got that one. They're at least, they're pretty forgiving in the early game on this stuff. Uh, now let's see, that is locked. That are, They're both locked, so we gotta go back. Uh, what difficulty do I have instead of two? I have it on medium for right now, just to like play through it the first time. We'll probably do a harder difficulty playthrough uh, later. Oh, man. All right, there we go. All right, now if we're gonna have the leaper pop out, I'm gonna get that again. That thing can close distance very quickly. Where are you? You normally pop out this room. There you are. Come here. Oh, you're shooting at me. How are you shooting at me? You are not a leaper. You are a spit neck Wow, that... Okay, the spitters do take a little bit out of you. Uh, let me look at my inventory real quick. No, med packs. Cool. All right, we'll deal with you in a second. Thank you for that. Leaper's gonna get you, not a leaper. Yeah, I know. I totally, like, normally the leaper pops out at the end of this room. Now, he may still, they may have just re-engineered this fight. But typically, 
A Leaper pops out at the end and then closes distance real quickly. All right, you know what? That spitter, that spitter worked me over hard. Yeah, bullets don't phase them like that in the new one. I agree with you. Uh, let's see. Hold, let's see. Map screen. All right, yeah, they got a proper, like, 2D map now. Okay. So next up, we are headed that direction. We gotta, let's get ourselves a data board. Got plenty of ammo. Could use some med packs. I think we'll get some in a moment. Uh, let's see. Thanks for following, Lou Flacco. No uh, weird 3D map? I know, right? It, is, it does feel a little bit like a, like a cheat with a map you can actually read. Credits. Now, is this... That looks like uh, what the tentacle is going to have later. What the, what the, the, where the tentacle is going to pop out. All right, let's see. Uh, dismemberment. Yep, I figured that much out. No power. Does this lead somewhere? It might. Might have to get a battery. Okay, we saw this area earlier. Ooh, medium med pack, thank you. All right, good. Okay, you are a circuit breaker. And I will, oh, I can, I can reroute power? Oh, that's cool. Now, if I did cargo hall st storage with the plasma energy, they really want to teach you about dismemberment. I mean, where are you? Something's here. I don't know what. No? Okay. I don't know uh, what exactly they're trying to teach you, but, like, yeah, it looks very realistic. Ooh, we got a little uh, little special room here. What a power note. Uh-oh. And an air vent that just blew out for no freaking reason, apparently. That's cool. That's really cool. I hear something. Bronze semiconductor. Yes! I will take that for some credits. Uh, what do we got here? Some more credits. You get fewer credits per drop, um, but I'll take the power node. Uh, Lucid, console, or PC. This is PC. Uh, we are playing on Steam. I know it should be out for uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X as well if you play on console. All right, now then, little things like this. I appreciate, like, even though it's the most basic stuff, I appreciate that, like, there is still some engineering that Isaac has to do here. Okay. I don't know how the save system works in this game. I presume they checkpoint me. We'll find out, though. Oh, that's cool looking. All right, we're gonna get jumped here momentarily. I know that both rooms uses, and I don't have stasis yet. So I can't grab, oh, I heard something scream. I know that in the original game, they pop out on both sides. We can also do that. Oh, I heard something. Are you not dead? It screamed. I thought that got it. Maybe I got a different one. We can shoot these tanks. We just can't grab them yet. Not till we get Kinesis. Lou said you're buying it as soon as you get home. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun with it already. So, I would highly recommend it if you're a Dead Space fan. Oh, I did get something. Yeah, you see the claws? I did blow up one of them. There's just a second one that comes from the same direction. And there's the vent it popped out from. All right. Now that I believe we need a key to get in here. Wait a minute. Did they move the room? Oh, they freaking did. Hold on. If I re if this is, uh, yeah, if this is what I, where I remember I am, the data board room should be here. And they moved it. Son of a gun. All right. Oh, the music is so good. Uh, is there someone coming from back there? No. Wow, they do take charge quick. Anybody 
else? Not so far. Uh, what are you? Med pack, thank you for that. Ooh, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, this is a slightly redesigned room. Uh, this is where the data board is. You have to go get a key for it. And I wonder if they just moved the room to where the key was before just to save you a trip. Something just popped out. Where are you? Nice. I don't know if you all just saw the achievement pop, but I think you get an achievement for, uh, for using the environment to blow stuff up. All right, something's here. All right, so the data board got moved over here towards the elevator. Media med pack, thank you. Okay. What is this? Okay, this is new. Yeah, this little walkway here, I don't believe existed before. Well, th this, this left to right did, but this part didn't. Um, what's over here? I think the key might have been over here. You are a medium med pack. Now look at this, there's a lot of explosives kind of right here in this small area. I'm gonna be tempted to use them, but that could go badly. Okay, so the elevator is back this way, if I recall correctly. Eric Staff, thanks for sharing the live. This was definitely locked before. Okay, then no power. So I guess we gotta follow the cable to where the power is, and it goes down below. Which means we gotta find ourselves an elevator. Where are we going? This way. Oh, there's the light, I see it. All right, good. Anything else here? We got a box. Credits. Isaac is handling it a lot better than most people. Brian, if you had played this game, you would understand why that statement is so funny. But yeah, he is he is at least functionally holding it together than, than some people. <laughs> oh, man. Is that French? Yeah, French uh, speaking Ishimura announcements now. You dead? You, okay, you're dead. I gotta test now because I don't have kinesis yet. You're not. Thank you for validating my cynicism. Uh, music is still going. Did something else spawn? Not yet. We got a battery back there. I'm gonna explore this area first before we grab it. I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go. Let's just see if there's anything we can scavenge. Oh, that's great looking. Now this is, I believe, where the elevator is. Yep, sure is, okay. Now, you know, I wonder if the fact that you can reroute power now means you don't have to carry the batteries using Kinesis. I mean, I don't have the Kinesis module yet, so I guess I wouldn't be able to. But I wonder if that means they took that out of this game. All right, let's see. Looking around. I'm gonna grab this stuff before we hit that switch. Text log. Uh, engineering department. Okay, it's just a list of uh, things that need to be repaired. We'll read the lore stuff as we go on. But stuff that's like just flavor text will probably like blow through. More credits. Haven't hit a store yet. I think we get one at the end of the first chapter. Yeah, okay, so circuit breaker, maintenance room, lights, and elevators. Oh, that's great. Look at this, look at this. So we're gonna have to turn off one of these two and we can't turn off the elevators or we can't go up, meaning we gotta turn off the friggin' lights. Oh, you jerks, I love you. I'm gonna turn up the brightness just a little bit so we can make sure that everybody can see, including me. I 
I know it's a little bit of a cheat. Oh, there you are. Yeah, God, it's so weird seeing, like, the exposed bone and such on these guys. Like, the first hit seems to just blow the skin and muscle off the leg, and then you just see, like, the exposed bone, and, like, they just keep walking at you. Like, they don't even care. I am getting used to that, the fact that, like, the, the cutter isn't going to stagger them like it, it has typically. It's like the Alien Isolation reroute system. Yeah, it's T-Swift. Yeah, I think you're right. It kind of is. All right, let's get back and get our data board. In our slightly redesigned room that I'm gonna have to get very used to. I think it goes right over there. Anybody pop out yet? Not yet. Oh, I hear something. Whew. Oh, now we got a friend. I'm gonna have to get used to four shots. It takes three shots on the regular. Like you can take out like, first limb will take two shots, second will take one. There we go. All right. Okay, let's get in here and get our data. It's right over there, let's loot the room first. Hey, Joyce. Yeah, got me. Joyce Lee just popped in. She does, uh, let's see, she does a lot of uh, original music and uh, covers on Twitch, uh, as well as uh, as well as TikTok as well. So uh, check out Joyce Lee music on Twitch and TikTok. She's a great follow. Let's see, Poker Night. Keeping this uh, off Rig Link because uh, Benson's listening in. You in for Poker Night? Uh, I'm in, but can you not invite Pavey this time? He's still blaming himself for Sorosi's accident and everything, but nobody wants to hear about anyone's nightmares, especially uh, where he saw Sorosi up and walking around with half his head missing. Ugh. And uh, don't give me anything about that. I'm serious. It's messing with me. The last night I had one of those dreams when you wake up, you know? Uh, my dad was sitting next to me, talking to me. Felt so real, I kept seeing him out of the corner of my eye. And trust me, that's one guy you want to stay dead. Ooh. Okay. Okay. It you know, it's interesting to see how, like, the marker sickness uh, hallucinations kind of, like, came on uh, over time with them in this version. Like, it happens, like, over the course of a couple of days, I think, in the original version. Isaac, we Let's can't see. stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. Yeah, me too. Hold on. I got the data board. I'm coming back to tram control now. Daniel, get ready to go. All right. So that's our second objective. Let's go to the bench first before we uh, get out there. Let's see what we can do here. All right. So, uh, upgrade weapons. This is, of course, where we uh, apply those power nodes. So we can upgrade the selected weapon or the rig's capabilities. Okay. All right. So we got our suit. Uh, what does our suit do? We're going to have an HP upgrade. We have an air upgrade. What does the size do? Stasis size. Oh, cool. Okay, so you have stasis is combined within the suit. That's neat. Uh, and then the stasis duration. And then for the plasma cutter, we have damage and capacity. I think what we're going to do... I'm going to split our, uh, our up upgrades a little bit right now. I'm going to do one for HP, one for damage, and one for capacity. That'll help us to manage uh, our inventory as well as, hopefully, uh, stay alive a little longer. All right, now we got five. We got 12 shots. Like, or Is it 12? No, it's 11 shots. Oh, you made it 11 and not 12. Well, fine. All right, let's roll. Oh, there's more. I can't angle the, uh, I can't angle hit the, uh, canister just yet. Alright, I'm gonna let him come in the door. I'm gonna try to, anyway. Come here. Oh, he's, he spawned in the room, you son of a gun! Stop cheating! Where's your friend? I know your friend's here somewhere. That's new, that didn't happen in the original. Ugh. Gross. All right. Oh, 
man. I cannot wait to be able to throw these things. That's going to make my life so much better. Okay. I think we're safe for now. Let's get out of here. We get our Kinesis upgrade in Chapter 2. We're not... We're almost done with Chapter 1. We're getting there. Oh, that lighting up there. Uh, we're still in that same room, so I can't say we're safe. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot they redesigned this stuff. You know what? No, I got in the wrong room. I wasn't supposed to go down the elevator. Whoops. All right. So now in this version, you start off on the lower side of the room. Yeah, they completely reworked this whole area. All right. Let's see if anything else is going to pop out and eat me. So far, so good. I like this lit up room with an intact vent. I know what that means. It means there's still areas where they can spawn. Ooh, didn't get this box yet. Okay, more. Yep! Anyone behind me? Okay, no. Yeah. I cannot wait to get Kinesis back and get my test for those things. I'm going back and <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go install the data board. They definitely made them take more hits than before on normal. It's kind of wild. I don't know if they were just thinking about people who have already played the game or what. Uh, tram control room. Okay, this one's fine. All right, let's go install our data board right over here. Anything else in here? No. Right. That's going to allow Hammond and Kendra to get on the tram. Where are they? Maintenance complete. Calling tram. They should be visible here. Oh, there they are. They're just a little tough to see. Now arriving at flight deck tram control. Is there a quick turn button? I don't think so. I haven't seen a... I'll, I'll check in a second, Gil, I just, uh, after the uh, cutscene. I don't believe there's a quick turn. 843 last stop. I've been waiting to watch you play this. I've been waiting to play it. We're on board. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown's lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kelly. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. Okay, so we're gonna find out what happened to the other marine. People are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. Emmanuel, thanks for uh, for us. Oh, sorry, eight four three. Thanks for following. We'll get through this. We'll see. <laughs> You've been awake since six thirty, Joyce, and you don't feel awake yet. I mean, I feel awake right now just because you know <laughs> I'm up doing this. Normally, I would have slept in about an hour later than I did today, but that is okay. Uh, let's see. How am I liking it so far? I'm really liking it. It feels faithful to the original, um, but it feels like they added enough for people who already know the original so well, like I do. Um, overall, like, I think this is really good. All right, so we're going to take this back up to the Kellyan, which is the ship we came in on. And the other Marine should still be there, theoretically. Cliff Robs, they remastered the old Dead Space and make an entirely new one. This is a, uh, a remake of the original Dead Space. So this is, like, built from the ground up. And it is definitely, definitely, uh, they've added in some some uh, additional scares and such. Oh, I hear something. The sound design is still awesome. Coffee hasn't helped for me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I had a whole bunch of coffee before we started. It definitely helped for me. Uh, okay, let's get in the elevator and head up. So we're going back up to the original where we started. Very nice. The graphics are way better. Absolutely they are. This looks really good. Maybe you should play this? I mean, if you like survival horror games, Joyce, uh, I think you would really like this. This is a remake of a 2008 game. And 
Yeah, but it uh, but it still looks and plays incredibly. Uh, now I believe normally if we get uh, oh I remember this scene. Now we didn't get to go in the supply room before. This is where we like ran for our life earlier. So let's go stock up on whatever's in here. I want to make sure nothing's gonna pop out at me. And there's a power node. Heck yeah, Just give me that. You've been wanting to stream games again. You should. I mean, I know Joyce. You've been doing a lot of like original music streams and such. So like, whoa. So I get why you might not have uh, not not have done uh, streaming uh, with games recently, but I'm enjoying it. Oh man. You're enjoying me knocking it out of the park in this stream. I mean, like, I don't know about knocking it out of the park. I'm still alive. Lucky me about that. Anyone else? Not yet. All right. At least we've, we've been playing, um, ooh. We've been playing Dead Space 2 on hardcore mode uh, on, on the stream, so this is, like, definitely a little less pressure. Isaac, we made Still it to good the bridge. Though. It's... There's no survivors. Daniels is trying to get into the command computer. All right. So Kendra is trying to get into the command computer and find the captain and see if we can figure out exactly what the heck happened here. Now, let's see. In the original game, you could, there were stompables in here. Looks like there aren't here, but that's fine. <laughs> hey Joyce! Oh, thanks for follow thanks for uh, stalking me everywhere. Stalk away, man. Alright, here's our ship, the Kellyan. It had a rough landing, as you can see here. You just notice you have to hit the uh, the same spot on the limb. If you hit the bicep or forearm, it's gonna count differently. That's cool. Okay, so this is our space marine who was not sent to the flight lounge, so she has no idea what's happened so far. Ooh, okay, this wasn't a cutscene before. Oh, we're gonna straight up talk to her now. I'm a singularity core expert, huh? Is there still, there's not a med pack in here. There is normally. I don't know if I'm a singularity core expert. Well, I probably am actually. What have you got on you? Is that blood? Yep. Ellie, I need you to listen. Yishimura's overrun with him. The fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? This is all new. What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac... We need the killing and fixed now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it, it's there. All right, let's see the damage report. Go! Am I gonna try to fix it or am I just gonna run? Looks like we're just gonna run, okay. Oh, there's the core. Oh, wow, that is all new. Okay, I guess we lost Haley. Okay, we have wait, we have one more coming. All right, so a couple things we just saw. One second. We blew off its head, but it's still coming. I love it. Like, look, it's weaker when I shoot off its limbs. Like this thing, I blew off its, its uh, arm, and it's still coming, but it's so much slower. Now it's gone. <laughs> Isaac, what's happening down there? Justin's gone. The Kellyan too. There's a lot to talk the about here. Singularity core overloaded. No! The Kellyan was our only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. 
What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Yeah, I got bad news for you, Hammond. And us, too. <laughs> okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased? Either the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. All right. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was that? Oh, boy. Chen? Oh, God. It, run! oh, Chen's a necromorph. Oh, that's cool. Shit. Okay, so a whole lot just happened there. Let's talk about that. So that whole sequence is all new. Normally, you go in the ship and it starts immediately overloading and you just basically have to run outside right before it explodes. So in that, uh, Johnson, the other Marine, was in there. Uh, we could see the Singularity Core overloaded because the Necromorphs were attacking it. And then we got blown straight out, out the windshield and it looks like Johnston was not so lucky because she's not out here. And then, yeah, you know, one thing, and I thought about doing a video on this, um, I might still, is that um, most games don't do injuries well. Like, enemies will be at 100% capacity until they're 100% dead. And I appreciate that, like, in this game, uh, they react to the fact that you've blown their arm off, and so they're not as functional as they would be otherwise. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess that was the first leaper, my lord, Chaos. You're right. <clears throat> um, I guess they just delayed the intro. Oh, man. Let's see. All right. That's about it for chapter one. So we just got to make our way back down to the tram. And I think we're pretty close to the uh, the tram station here. I think we have to take the alternate path. I believe that there were no necromorphs in here in the original game. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, we can go straight to the tram station. And he took his helmet off the top. Yeah, Clifford, you're right. So... You know, there's more times where uh, Isaac is going to break from his helmet and actually open up and talk to us. And I'm, I'm all for it. If, you, if you're going to bring that gunner right, you may as well use him. And so far, it's not intrusive. Like, I don't feel like they included a whole bunch of, uh, of scenes of Isaac talking, like, just for the sake of doing so. It feels pretty natural. There used to be a power node in here. Now there's not. Fine. Whatever. And then this is our first tram station. Very cool. Uh, all right. Let's see. Oh, there's an elevator. All right. Real quick, I will be right back. Uh, give me like two minutes, and then we will come on, and we're going to continue on to Chapter 2. So give me just one second. I will be right back.
Sorry about that, back on. Let's do it. Okay, so um, one thing I, I really appreciated so far in, uh, in this is like, it's also, let's see, this is the right way right here. Um, normally when you shoot a necromorph, um, I don't know if you remember this from the original game. When you blow its leg off, um, it will drop in such a way that its arm will land exactly where your plasma cutter is. So it makes it real easy to just get a finisher like right there. Whereas in this, it's definitely more challenging. Not only to take more hits, but like, like I believe Brian mentioned as well, um, there is um, uh, like you definitely have to hit them more in the same spot in order to blow the limb off. Like if you were to hit a different part of the arm, you won't get like the same kind of bonus that you do in the original game. Oh man, uh, let's see, Rob, what system? This is on PC. Let's go. All right, here we go. And I think this should get us to the tram station. And in the original game, we were safe from here on in. I don't know if we still are. We'll find out. And here we go. Okay. All right. So this is the tram station. We'll be able to, I think, call the tram. It's not here yet. I, oh, that's the entryway for the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know where we are. Hang on. Get plasma energy. Anything else back here? Ooh, that look, that body looked like it moved for a second there. I didn't... I don't know if that was the graphical issue or what. Ugh. All right. Uh, we got our first store. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Bobby2x, thanks for following. Let's see, store is a one-stop shop for purchase, sell items. Yep, okay, so just like before. Uh, what do we have here? We have our suit level two, uh, which we can buy now. Kyle, thanks for following. We've got a small med pack, plasma energy, and a power node. Don't need any of that. Let's get our level two suit. Yes. I believe, uh, I think this works like the original game where there's five um, original suits in the NG and then a sixth in new game plus. Favorite moment so far, my other cast. I don't know what my favorite moment is so far. So far, I'm just kind of drinking it all in, to be honest with you. All right. So now that's spent a lot of our credits. Uh, what's going on in our inventory? Now I know we have a bronze semiconductor that we can sell. Okay, good. Um, anything else? Plasma cutter, stasis pack. I'm gonna save that stasis pack. I hope. All right, there we go. Okay. Like it wants me to go this way. So normally, yeah, the tram is typically right here. Oh, that's cool. They actually have like little markers, like it's a real station. Or, I, I, wait, not markers, not markers. Uh, they have little um, uh, lettering to inform us <laughs> of what is going on there. All right, uh, let's see. We are, we gotta go down there. We have another bench. We did get a power node. Let's see what we can use. Okay, suit. Oh, that's why. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This was cool. So I guess, like, the the nodes will increase as you get new suits. So, like, there were some of these that weren't available before, and now, uh, now you can't. Now, of course, like, like before, you kind of can't choose exactly what you're going to upgrade. Uh, can you still get loot from breaking boxes? Yeah, you can. We've been breaking boxes uh, a lot in this stream. Um... And then let's see, do we want reload time or more capacity? Um, I'm gonna go with capacity just because like, it's always better to manage your inventory. So if we can keep more um, shots in my plasma cutter and out of my inventory, then I'm all for it. There we are, all right, so now we're up to 12 shots. The stream will stop and switch halfway into it when Hogwarts and Starfield come out. <laughs> I don't, Hogwarts is coming out very soon. Starfield, I mean, I'll be stunned if we get Starfield this year. I don't. I doubt we are. Clifford, you always go max capacity. I mean, for survival horror, that is an excellent, excellent way to live. Okay. Right, something is, is roaring at us. This is all new, by the way. This whole section here, you did not have to. Uh, you did not have to go 
uh, to the medical deck to our, you did not have to go back to tram control. Maybe you did. I'm trying to remember. Um, wait, medical cargo depot. Wait, are we in the? Hold on. Oh, we just straight up went. We walked to the medical deck. That okay? We did not have to take the tram. We are already here. Okay. So as we were as we were told, uh, let's see. Then we have to go and find the captain's raid. The captain is apparently deceased, and his body is somewhere in the morgue in the medical deck. And so we got to find it. I guess we don't call the tram. That's new. Uh, we get. Okay. Now last time there was a there was a um, one of the um, Ishimura crew was here, and she was like blinded and was talking to somebody else, and she had a kinesis module. And now we're just gonna just it's gonna hand it to us. That's gonna be a little less unsettling. That's fine. I'll get my unsettling elsewhere. All right. Okay, so we can just do that. Great game, though. Yeah, thanks, Chevy Chase. I appreciate that. Okay, now. Ooh. What are you? You are an arm. Now, I don't know if this works similarly to Dead Space 2, uh, well, Dead Space 1 as well, where you can um, kinesis dead bodies, to, uh, or supposedly dead bodies, to find out if they really are dead. I'm just going to practice a little bit. I also wonder if you can throw blades. Uh, you could not throw blades in the original Dead Space, but you could in Dead Space 2, and a lot of people were saying they missed that. Uh, Jonathan, how much money to get this? I think this is um, $60 on PC, 60 American, depending on where you're at. And 70 to get it on uh, consoles. Mm, okay, seems like I gotta move stuff here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, there it is again. I appreciate the French announcements. Just a little bit of extra world building, because obviously there would be some people who speak languages other than English here. Anything can't move that. Okay, cool. Oh, we got another subscriber. Sweet. All right, we're up to forty. Thank you, everybody on uh, on YouTube. Um, it's been fun trying to rebuild my live channel because I um uh, I split it off from the main channel just because the main channel started to get a little too uh, big because of uh, the long form videos. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of the stream, uh, please uh, my links in my bio. Come on over and hang out with us on YouTube. Oh, is this? Oh, oh, this is that survivor. Gotta hold the line. Ooh. And you have a big old gun. Can I can I take your big old gun? Oh. Sorry. I can take your big old gun. Alright, so I guess that's why they didn't do that. They didn't have her give us the Kinesis module before, because now we get the pulse rifle. They're just gonna straight up give us the pulse rifle. Okay. Uh let's see. Hey, my backup account doing really well. How are you? Yeah, she yeah she did not uh, she had a bad day. Oh man, Derek, is there a notable difference? Uh, I mean, yeah, there really is. I mean, like the game is still the same, absolutely, but like they've made a lot of changes to it. All right, Clifford says uh, never understood why it costs more for a digital copy because they could. That's why, unfortunately. Um, all right, so if I go to my inventory, I can. I don't typically play with the pulse rifle, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, stasis pack. There it is. Okay. So then do I equip it? Uh, I'll put it right here for now. So I guess I don't have to buy the new weapon. We'll try out the pulse rifle for a little bit, see how that works. Yeah, Cliff, Clifford, it's because because they could charge for it. That's the problem. I remember like everybody saying, like, oh, man, digital games are going to be the future because like we'll be able to save. And I'm like, really? Are you sure? <laughs> Publishers aren't just gonna keep that money. Uh, override station lockdown. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Station lockdown. So we actually couldn't have got. We yeah, I didn't know if you saw this was locked down, and we actually couldn't get out until we did that. And there's the tram. There's the tram we were supposed to take. Maybe we will leave that at the end of chapter two. Oh man. 
Am I gonna beat this on the hardest difficulty? I mean, maybe. We're just playing on medium for right now, like, just to get into it. I mean, they say there's a secret ending for New Game Plus, so I feel like we're probably gonna definitely have to go back and play it again. Yeah, Cliver, that played out totally different. You're right. It's the DS... Uh, it, it's the Dead Space hype train, man. Everybody's been psyched for this game. All right. Let's go into the, the med bay. We'll talk about uh, how this uh, looked in a moment. Pull these crates out. But if you remember, the uh, the med bay was similar to the first game in that there were... Um, uh, there's three objectives. And the morgue in the original game was barricaded. So uh, whoever was in the morgue barricaded it. So we're going to have to find some thermite and blow it up. Yep, and the barricade's still here. So there's no getting in that morgue just yet, and that's where we need to be. So we're going to have to go explore the medical deck. Isaac, we'll do that you the Daniels? We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. That's new. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. And Cole could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue... Maybe it was to keep something in. Oh, God, it's the hunter, isn't it? We're not going to get the hunter until Chapter 5, I don't think. Uh, Justice, yeah, I'm doing a great job of convincing you you missed out. Honestly, I mean, if you haven't played this game yet, I highly recommend it. Now, it was Thermite in the original game. Now it's Hydrazine, which I don't think exists, but that's fine. <clears throat> I guess it exists in space, and that's all that matters. You know what else doesn't exist? Necromorph, so who cares? Um... Okay, this sign was there before. That is, that's a straight uh, rip from the original game. It's probably a little more, you know, scummy now, but. And we still have, this is, okay, this is a, an intact vent. It looked like the tentacle hole. Okay, I'm getting credits. Hey, what is this? Security clearance level two needed. That's new. How do I get that? Um, now, we do return to the medical deck in Chapter 5, and I wonder if that just means that, like, that's something I will just get as the game goes on. All right, so we have two objectives. We have to uh, get the, uh, now it's Hydrazine, I guess, uh, Thermite. And then we have to get our uh, shock pad from Zero-G Therapy. And then we're going to use that to blow up the barricade. So where are we going first? I guess we're going this way. All right, oh, this way is the Hydrazine tank. Now, I believe in the original game, this is where we saw the guy who was banging his head on the wall. Yep, you can hear him. I don't know if you can hear that bass, but I sure as heck just did. I'm, like, I'm enjoying this with headphones on, and that's, like, a good way to hear it, but I do have a, a nice surround sound system here, and I'm really excited to play this on that. All right, so in the past, yeah. Previously, the guy just, just nailed it. Just, like, yeah, he did. He, so, uh, so, um, yeah, he just nailed his head so hard in the wall that he, uh, he basically just got fired. And that's nothing to give me, and that's just rude. All right, this is imaging diagnostics. Now, uh, ooh. Now, we should talk about this room. I don't know if I can, I can reroute the power here. So, this room specifically is very important in the Dead Space, uh, lore. Um, and I will show you why in a moment. But we will definitely... There used to be a bench here. There no longer is. Move the imager back so we can cross. Oh, wait. Did the bench get moved in here? Oh, but there's pulse rounds. I'll take that. Okay. Can we cross through here? Oh, that's actually like an observation room. This room was not here before. <laughs> This was just like a space for the imager. There was a bench. It's no longer here. All right, so there is just straight up not a battery. Uh oh. Wow. There is like no stopping power. On this thing. Yeah, that thing like didn't even react to getting blown apart by this thing. 
We'll keep trying it, but I still feel like the plasma cutter is still my way to go. When I get the line gun, I'm definitely going to swap out. All right. Diagnostics technician. There used to be a power node in here, and it looks like there still is. But we would also get jumped in here. There's the bench. They moved the bench in here. No, I heard... Oh, God. Is that you? Oh, that is you. Okay, it's left. Man, that thing, that, I, I understand, like, obviously you're going to have to upgrade the pulse rifle, um, and it'll have more stopping power, but they're not even reacting to it. I did miss a couple of times on that, though. That was, uh, that's not entirely the pulse rifle's fault. I got to take some of But yeah, we're going back to the cutter. Pulse rifle is the worst gun in the game. I have never once used the pulse rifle in my loadout. But they just handed it to me, so, like, why not? Um, I don't think we're going to upgrade it. I think we're going to stick to the cutter. Uh, okay, so let's see. What do we want to do? We could upgrade. Uh, looks like the next upgrade is air. And we probably do want at least one air upgrade. But let's do damage on the plasma cutter. There we go. I love they still have the graffiti on the walls here. I don't know if you can see. Okay, there we go. Hey, it's okay to be fucked up. All right. I don't know if that's for the player or if that's for the Ishimura. Chris, is this the remake? Yes, it is. Remake dropped about uh, an hour or so ago, a little over an hour ago. And we just literally, we just sat here until it unlocked, and then we've been screaming it ever since. All right, let's throw this in here. All right, now then, what are our rerouting options? We have the doors, and we have the elevators. We're going to do the doors first. Can we do both? No, just one. Okay. Because we're going to go back to that room. And I'm going to tell you about this room. There's a story about this place. Oh, my God. That was a hand that just popped into screen. That's cool. Um, so it was tougher to see in the opening cutscene, but something very important happens in this room. I just want to make sure we're not going to get jumped first. And I don't. they did rearrange it a little bit, so I don't know if it's going to be the same thing. But we'll talk about it in a second once we've cleared the place. It looks like we're safe. So, in the original game, this is the room where Nicole records her video message. Um, it looks a little different here. Let's let's rewatch it. If it's here, it is part of your inventory in Chapter One. Background request. Let's see. Do we have the video from Nicole in here? I wonder if it's in like tutorials. No, it might not be in my inventory. Maybe they changed this. Not found. Oh, okay. I wonder if that means either I missed it or what. All right, maybe not. Um, okay, so it. Oh, audio log. What's this? Patient log retrieved. I hear the tests on patient Harris were. Oh, this is Doctor Kine. Given the reports from the colony, he's lucky to have his faculties at all. Well, a divine experience would leave an impression on anyone's mind. Perhaps. But I saw nothing divine in all that... blood. The suicides. But this is a revelation, Terence. We just need more insight to... translate it. Thanks for following me, this insight can be found in Mr. Harris's psyche? I'm positive. And with Captain Matthias barring any visits to Aegis 7, this fellow may be our best chance. TikToker, thank you for Dr. Brennan's patient. And your methods... Look, Mercer, things are complicated oh. enough already. I can't sign off on this. Okay, you green, thank you for following. Best, of course, but... How long can we afford to wait? Okay, so that was Dr. Kine and Dr. Mercer, who are going to be more important as the game goes on. Uh, this is another one that's, uh, yeah, level two. So Dr. Kine is the chief science officer. Uh, Nicole uh, Brennan, your girlfriend, uh, is the chief medical officer. Um, and then Dr. Mercer is the second in command on the science team. Adam, thank you for following. Um, 
and the two of them kind of like have some differences of opinion about what's going on down on the planet Age of Seven. I'm not going to spoil too much for because there's several people who are watching who have never played Dead Space before, so I'm not going to tell you what's going on. But like something is happening down below, and apparently there was a, a wave of suicides, and one patient was transferred back to the Ishimura. Kind is is much more cautious, but Mercer is very 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 intrigued by what's going on with him, and there's some a little reference to like. Mercer's methods being unconventional, and they really, really are. We will learn a lot more about that. You don't think your nerves can handle this game again? I can tell you mine mine probably can't either. Uh, Jeremy, have I seen the anime? I've seen some of the animes. I've seen um, mostly the Dead Space 2 ones. I haven't seen the ones that are tied to uh, the first game. Yeah, Mercer is quite a character. But yes, this is the room where Nicole records her video message to you. And if you played the game, you know how special that vi that video message actually is um, in the original game. Now, they've rearranged it somewhat, so I don't know if that's still true. Maybe they've changed that. But, like, there's a bookcase and a shelf right here, which are clearly in the background of Nicole's video message. And, and Nicole's video message is not in my inventory, so I can't play it right now. But that room is very significant in the original game. And it's one of those things where, like, if you don't recognize it, it would just look like any other storage room. You never find her body. It's just insinuate that she's dead. Yeah, that's true. So, um, apparently, we're going to find out what happened in this game. But, like, canonically, in the, in the original series, you're right. You never find her body. And in Dead Space 2, the fake Nicole taunts you for never finding out what happened to her. So, it'll be interesting to see how they do that without necessarily toying with canon. Whoa, something just busted out. Oh my gosh, look at you. Get off the ceiling. Ooh, that was cool. All right. Oh, oh, there's a... Oh, that wasn't there before. Okay, so this walkway and being able to get out there was, was not there. That guy just climbed across the ceiling, and I guess that's just going to happen more and more here. I hear something growling over there. I don't love that. We'll see what that is in a moment. Oof. All right. Creepy Carl is indeed, my lord, Chaos. This is, uh... Oh, we could, we could cross there, too. Oh, wow, there's... This room is so much more open than it is in the original. I don't know if that's a good thing, because that also means they can get to me. Uh, I'm probably not going to use the pulse rifle much. But we'll at least keep it loaded in case we need it. Oh, wait a minute. That was a big old hole right there. Whoops. All right. Well, that's not happening. Um... Okay, now then, I believe we pull... Okay, now we're supposed to be able to pull the imager over. Oh, there it is. Alright, so there's a little lesson about using your environment. Alright. Getting used to the, uh, getting used to the, the slightly more, uh, more hardy necromorphs in this game. Uh, okay. And now the infidels, that was there before. That is not new. We're going to start to see more and more uh, graffiti from folks who seem uh, just fine with how things are going on the ship. Of course, if you know the lore, you know why. There's my stasis uh, recharge, and I'm really, really glad to have you. I think stasis might be recharging automatically. Um, I have noticed every now and then I get, like, a small stasis charge. Okay, so I'm supposed to go that way, which is how we go in the original room. But this room right here is all new. This isn't in the original game. What is going on here? Whoa! That's cool. That's all new. Did not know that was coming. It's fine. Oh! Oh! Is it? No, it's not a power node. It's credits. That's fine. Uh, anything else over here? Can I pull this desk? No. Dead. <laughs> you. Yes, concluded. Oh, wait a minute. There's a text box. What is this? Wyatt, you're playing right after work. Wyatt, you're going to love it. It's super good. Uh, let's see. Medical log. The diagnoses are stacking up fast as soon as I can file them. This is Dr. Warwick, the chief psych officer. Uh, that's a new character. Uh, sleep paralysis. Hallucinations. Nightmares. Paranoia. 
I'm getting uh, patients from all over the ship. No underlying causes showing up in the environmental analysis, foodstuffs, radiation levels. I admit I'm at a loss. Uh, Movie Freak, thanks for following. T-Rex, your uh, copy is waiting for you in the mailbox right when you get out of work, too. Yeah. Oh, you're going to love it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis. So in, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms, but I'm seeing some improvement uh, with sensory deprivation treatments and zero-G therapy pods. Uh, but the sheer number of patients uh, we're managing bothers me. The systems are old. They need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen to them there's, if there's a serious power surge down there. Uh, nothing else seems to help. I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather take the small calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. Okay. Uh, Legend and Wyatt, thanks for following. This game looks like how you imagine it. I agree. This really does look like how I imagine Dead Space uh, as well. Insomnia, paranoia. Sounds like a normal day. I mean, that's normal for me at work. I don't know about you all. All right. Leana and uh, Le uh, Linnea uh, shared the live. Thank you for doing that. Uh, Linella, excuse me. All right. Looks like we can still cross here. We don't have to pull the thing back yet. All right. 2-0-G therapy. So I guess that was an observation for 0-G therapy. It was a little dark to see. Uh, this is the cryogenics lab. We will go there in Chapter 5 when we meet Mercer. Kyle, thanks for sharing the live. Okay, you're locked. This is... Oh, this is Dr. Warwick. This is the... Um, this is the doctor uh, whose log we just read. What would I do different if I was in Isaac's shoes? Oh, my God. Probably just curl up in the fetal position and die. That's what I would do. <laughs> uh, I mean, we already beat the uh, the original game on impossible mode on stream, but this is uh, this is definitely... Wait a minute. Oh, we have a Peng poster. Oh, cool. Okay, I wonder if the Peng treasure is still uh, still in this version. Oh, man. Why you love that thing? Oh. oh, wow. Okay. Zero gravity. Now look at this. This is, uh, you only get 60 seconds now. I think you got, like, more than that in the original game. I believe we're safe going this direction. In the original game, we got attacked, uh, later on. This isn't too long. What are you? Bronze Semiconductor. I will take you. Thank you. Lots of sparks. All right, let's get out of here. If I lived through this, would I be traumatized? I mean, Isaac is pretty well traumatized if you play Dead Space 2. He does not exactly just shrug this off, nor would I. That is not a criticism. Yeah, I think we originally got 180 seconds. They definitely... You really only need one air upgrade in the original game, um, and then you're fine. Like, you probably want to have, like, one, one uh, little upgrade. But uh, 60 seconds is not long. Now, this was a big upgrade from the original, as we saw. Okay, so this is now... This is new. It is... It is a slightly different... Let's see, reorient is... The, okay, reorient is uh, dropping down. Okay, so this is takeoff and landing. That is a little different. I might swap over to the Dead Space 2 controls because of that. In fact, you know what? I've been thinking about doing that. Let's just do that. Okay. Um, not controller layout, but if I go to settings, controls, there is a control preset for Dead Space 2. And let's just do that. Is it to take off? Oh, that's interesting. Um, that's L3. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I've been, we've been streaming a lot of Dead Space 2, so I feel like if I don't change it, I'm, I'm going to get lost. All right, let's bring that over. Can I melee that? No, I can't. Okay, that's interesting. Although, I don't know how that would work gravitationally. All right, now... So I guess yeah, this is uh, this is maybe there's the observation room. That makes sense. That's where we were at. Yeah, by the third game, Isaac just kind of shoves this, <laughs> shrugs this up. Which enemy is more terrifying, Last of Us enemies or Necromorphs? I don't really want to meet either. If I'm being honest with you, nobody in either game seems like they are having a very good time. All right, we're rolling over. 
here. Okay. Now, of course, when we come back through here, we're going to have a couple of leapers to deal with. Brock, thanks for following. Plasma energy. Credits. And for the folks watching, we typically stream uh, on YouTube and TikTok um, on um, Saturdays and Sundays at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. And we'll be back streaming this tomorrow and Sunday. Basically, pretty much in, like for a while now. I could see this being like a key game for us. And here's the uh, the Thermite, now Hydrazine. Uh, Not Steph Curry followed me. Oh, thanks, Not Steph Curry. Uh, Dead Space 2 scared me the most, especially with those monsters move so fast with Twitch. Oh, man. Forgot about that. Still holding this position. The guy from Fortnite. What's happening there? <laughs> Did you find the coal? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay. Work fast, Isaac. All right. So let's get back to the uh, starting area with our hydrazine tank. Link's OFC. Thanks for following. All right. Yeah, in the original game, we got jumped here. Oh, I hear them. They're coming. There it is. I'm gonna back up a little bit and try to use the space. We might try to stasis them too if they show up here. There was one right over there and I saw it jump off. I don't know if it's coming this direction. There it is. Are you dead? No. Now you are, all right. I think there's one more though. I don't think it I don't think they're all gone yet. A little bit of debris right there. Is there another one? I don't see it, so let's just try to get the heck out of Dodge as fast as possible. Al Spectra looks so good. Yeah, I agree. Best part is you don't remember much of the original Dead Space? Good. I mean, not because, like, I remember it a lot, and I'm still enjoying it. Like, not because that's a bad thing, but, like, if you can go in and just really enjoy it uh, for what it is, do it. The armor has a nice shine to it. I agree. It is a weekend special. I don't normally do Friday morning streams. I'm typically at work, but, man, this was worth taking the day off for. What the hell? It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. Okay. Let's blow this place because now we are. Hmm. How do we get out of here? There was a thing here before. Ooh. How do we get out of here? Fifty-seven seconds. Uh, that area. Something shook the whole ship. Oh. Oh, that's new. We got to use the zero G in here and go up. Yeah. It's a little wonky. I'm stuck on geometry. That's not good because we are running out of time. Oh, there's an O2 refill. Thank you. <laughs> that was a nice touch. I did not see that coming. And we got pulse rounds. We will refill those in a moment. And it looks like we are probably going to be on a different route back then. No! Credits. That was a nice little roundhouse punch from Isaac. Isaac did have a pretty weak punch in the original game. We took off both arms. Oh, this is so cool. Look at how, like, it stays in stasis for a long time and then just, like, floats there for a bit. Stasis lasts for a while, too. I'm used to the Dead Space 2 stasis that, like, drops after, like, a few seconds. Oh, that just oh, that just sticks around. That's great. All right. Uh, this is security clearance level one. I also don't have that. Now, this might be a bug. It keeps telling me to take off. Oh, I can still use zero G in here. I don't know why. <laughs> but that's... Oh, because of the elevator. That makes sense. Okay. You still think the health mechanic looks great. I agree. Yeah, Brian, I did not realize I was still in zero G. I guess I, uh, I, I just equate that with not having oxygen. One step but... out of the captain's nest and Chen, that thing, he almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. 
Hurry, Isaac. Oh, so the, the necromorph in the escape pod is going to be the marine from the start. That's a new development. Exiting zero gravity. Okay, there we go. Now, now things will be normal again. I got a schematic for pulse rounds, okay? I guess this they sent you on a new route so that you don't have to just, like, walk through the, like, uh, walk your old route again like you did in the original game. Yeah, that might be it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, I guess it's not really a bug. It's just weird that it keeps popping up and saying, hey, you can take off. But, I mean, it makes sense now that you think about it. But, yeah, I guess Chen is going to be the next one. Oh, that Hammond blasts out of the uh, the AirPod. Uh, Andrew asks, is this new? Is that new new? Yes, this is the new uh, Dead Space. It landed about two hours ago. Way too fast for me. Uh oh, there's one right behind me. Get the heck out of here. Yeah, the pulse rifle is not bad if you can maintain your aim. I'm there. I wonder if there's like a weapon sway upgrade you can get. I'm not loving it though. I'm definitely more into the into the plasma cutter. But good to have. Given that like it does take a little while to do, to reload, it's faster to switch weapons. So I'm glad to have a backup sidearm if I need it. All right, what else we got here? We got a lock fuse. Yeah, this punch is new. Isaac had such a weak punch in the first game, and now he's definitely a little bit stronger now. Uh, where am I? Going this way. Uh oh. Have I been here before? Oh, yes, 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 I have. This is where that guy was smacking his head. Okay, cool. Will there be a remake for Dead Space 2 as well? I don't know. Um, you know, I mean, if this one is a, is a success, I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, was that the Marine, the pilot, Haley? No, sorry, the uh, the other Marine, Chen, the one who went with you into the flight lounge. Um, it seems like he was now the the necromorph that that Hammond locked in the escape pod, which we will blast out in Chapter 4 and will cause you all sorts of trouble in Chapter 9. I wonder if that means we have to fight Chen later. That would be sick. Oh, man. All right, now we're back to the front. As you remember, this is the barricade for the morgue. And uh, we have the uh, the thermite or the whatever they're calling it now, hydrazine. And now we just need the uh, shock pad to ignite it. So we're gonna do a couple of things. We are gonna go and drop off that pulse round schematic. Uh, do we have anything else we can sell off? We have a bronze semiconductor. We will sell that. Uh, do I have anything else I want to sell? We have a whole bunch of ammo, a couple of med packs. I kind of want to keep those. Um, don't have enough for a power node. We almost do. Uh, no nodes. All right, we'll leave that as is. The pulse rifle is looking good. You're right. I mean, like, I have no complaints about how the pulse rifle looks. All right, let's roll into here. Now, in the original game, the next room we're going to is a bit of a... It's a big arena for a firefight, so I'm curious to see how this goes. Oh, there's my stasis upgrade. Uh, our stasis recharge. Thank you for that. Missed it. Oh, no, there we got it. All right, good. Okay. That's fine. We got two stasis uses. Here's the main lab. <sighs> grab use, grab sharp objects uh, to impale them. Now, I don't know if that means we can use the blade. <gasps> We've got this from Dead Space 2. Yes! Oh, I hadn't tested this yet. We can... I wonder if that means we're going to be able to pull the blades off them because I have been training for this. There's a sensitivity, war a sensitivity warning when you click on this video. I mean, I don't know if that got placed there because somebody reported it. Yep, okay. I just got a pop-up that said, Some people may find this game disturbing. You may consider tagging this live as age protected. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> um, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, there is. Oh. All right, let's test the kinesis. 
Quarantine yeah, I think I think we're about to get locked in. Oh, there you are. Yes! Oh, I can do this! I can pull the blades off. All right. You as well. It takes a little longer than it does in Dead Space. Oh! It takes a little longer than it does in Dead Space for you to get the claws, but you can get them. No, that's the body. I don't want you. I want the claw. Come here. I want your other claw. Anyone else? Okay, we're still locked in. But nothing else is jumping out at us yet, meaning we gotta go find whatever is still here. Oh, they're straight up nailed to the wall. Uh, is there anything here? There's, let's see, I'm just looking for item boxes and such. But we're not safe yet. Do you think this game is a must grab? Is it worth it? I mean, if you like the first game, so far, I and I do too, so far I've been very impressed. So, if you like the first game, I, I you can swing it, I say heck yes, get it. Okay, so that's where the shock pad is. Ryan's asking if I've saved yet. I have not. That is a good point. Um, I think in the original game, they checkpoint me, although, I mean, I remember from playing hardcore mode, you know, not to take some of that for granted. So I think I have to go downstairs and we're gonna fight some more of them. But yeah, let's, let's save just in case. We're playing on medium, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna checkpoint me, but like, yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure there's a save station nearby. There probably is. Their save stations are pretty plentiful in this game. All right, anything else here? I'm just gonna run to the other side to see if there's any items. But I think we got everything. Oh man, we have the Dead Space 2 telekinesis in this game. Heck yes. Everyone else is playing this game and their lives aren't censored. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's possible that somebody reported me, but oh well. Yeah, we're not doing anything special on here that would be... Uh... Okay, how far in the game am I? I'm just on chapter two, Blob. I just got uh, I just got pinned in for a moment there. They told you streaming is not allowed for this game. I don't know. I haven't heard that. In fact, uh, I saw the the actual like Dead Space Twitter account uh, posted just some guidelines for YouTube, like about like, hey, here's what's allowed and what's not allowed on YouTube, just so you don't get in trouble. So I'm pretty sure you can stream this. Uh, let's see. Dead Space 2 and 3 safe messing with me here. Like, oh, God, if he dies, he'll have to redo it all. I mean, this is, yeah, I mean, from from uh, hardcore mode, you'd be right. I'm pretty sure they're going to checkpoint me. But you know what? It is not a bad idea. The game could crash, you know. Jose, you got a sensitive content warning when you're about to join. I agree. I mean, I think that, that uh, TikTok is just doing that now. I don't know if it's doing it to everyone on Dead Space or just me, but apparently TikTok is uh, is content warning me. I'm just playing the game. I promise I'm not doing anything wild on here. Half Point, follow, uh, Half Point thanks for following, and Hadrian, thanks for following. Uh, thoughts on Callisto Protocol? I think the Callisto Protocol 
um, had a lot of uh, lot of potential, but they rushed it. You could tell the second half was just not well as well quality checked as the first. Half. You were trying to stream it on Xbox Series X and said no streaming allowed. I'm surprised. Well, there's been no trouble streaming this year. And, um, yeah, I mean, the official Dead Space Twitter account was talking about um, how to stream it without getting, like, content warnings. So I got to assume it's okay. I don't know. RNG Snake, thanks for following. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, I know that uh, and we're getting content warnings. It's okay. It's me. Uh-oh. Is this... This must be Nicole's office. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. This is Nicole's office. Okay. We got a text log. Uh, and Brennan. Okay, dictation on. I'll keep your uh, name out of the transcript. So, Nicole is speaking to somebody in a counseling session, which is weird because she's not a... She's not a... Uh, like, there's a chief psych officer. She's a, she's a medical doctor, but all right. Uh, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Jane Doe, thanks. It's hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to you again. He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. Um, how every Unitologist uh, who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Uh, Dr. Brennan says, Unitology is uh, big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll... Dr. Brennan, sorry, I did something happen. I had a patient who I tried, her son tried, but she, I will fight for you, I'll do everything we can, but never underestimate how strong the, the church's pull can be. Now that's interesting. We talked about this in the Dead Space 2 uh, stream about whether or not uh, Nicole was a unitologist, and we didn't know. And we kind of like, we sort of came to the conclusion that obviously we can't say for sure, but she probably is because all of the chief um, folks on the Ishimura were. However, She's definitely counseling somebody about getting out of the church and sort of talking about how the church will kind of like use them, you know, use their powers against uh, um, people. So like, that's interesting. So it seems like she might not have been one at all. Audio log. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvement. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Yeah, okay, and so she, at least if this is Tracking canon. Rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. What? Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Holy crap. Okay. How do I do that? I can manually track Nicole's rig. Okay, retrieve the captain's rig. Destroy the shock pad. Okay. Oh, that's new. Okay. Uh, let's see, Matthew Stephanie, very important question for you. Uh, it's uh, yes, it's out. Uh, Airless Smile it released about two hours ago. Um, you were saying it, it takes uh, EA roughly six months to release games on Game Pass. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Stephanie, does Isaac speak? Yes, he does. We've heard him speak several times. Uh, her office is in the original, and didn't we find that a room reveals her last footage? Um, I don't know if that was her office, but there was that room where she, um, where she kind of records her last message. So that's interesting. Okay. So side missions. Uh, let's see. Can I open journal? Nicole, she's everything to me, and she's on board somewhere. Yeah, how do we track the side missions? Uh, I wonder... Yes, okay, investigate emergency room. So I gotta go find the emergency room to track Nicole's rig. Yeah, we might find... Now, there's no way we're gonna find Nicole's rig. There's no way. Because then, if we find Nicole's rig now, none of the rest of the story makes sense. And if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Um... Jewel, you love the Dead Space games? Me too. Holly and Jack, uh, how's the graphic? You can tell it's great. The graphics have been awesome so far. I've been into it. Oh, that's, that is very new and different. Um, that was not in the original game. Like, Nicole's office might have been there if I, rem if I remember right, but there was nothing about tracking her rig. Now we gotta get to the emergency room. Yeah, it would basically change the whole game series. I agree. 
let's go into Dr. Kine's office. So this is Dr. Kine. He's one of the two, um, one of the two science officers, and uh, we found his audio log with Dr. Mercer earlier. So we can play something here. Oh, there's a video log. This is Kine and. God's name is happening. Oh, and uh, Captain Matthias. God's work. How can you say that? I try to keep them in frame here. These deaths at the colony. The paranoia. The Kine sounds very different. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is defined. We know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning, Terrence. For unitology, for humanity. It's still a lot more subtle. Being tested. I love this. Everything is about to change. That's what worries me. Yeah, doc I miss Dr. Kine's old voice. I really do. He had such a the voice actor was Zealand awesome. Tree. This guy's fine. He's not like he's not doing a bad job. Uh, a couple questions came up. Uh, I never played the originals. I've only played Callisto Protocol. How does it compare? I mean. They're two very different games, even though they have like a lot, they share a lot of the same moves and such. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I, I think they've done a great job with the remake. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Dead Space is Callisto's dad, that's awesome. Yeah, Brian, I'm definitely gonna try to find her. There's no way that's a side mission. Like Isaac would have to try to find her. Uh, personal log of Dr. Kine. Uh, the vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. Uh, the artifact seems to be a genuine marker, uh, the first uh, to be found since Unitology's founding. Uh, we must get it on board at uh, the first opportunity so I can bring, begin a proper study. I uh, can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered re revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. Uh, this new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer humanity to the Church of Unitology without EarthGov here to seize them first? Uh, let's see. Uh, where is it? The marker could uh, herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In our darkest time of my life, the church and its teachings comfort me, save me, and now I'm here in the right place at the right time to be of service to all humanity to repay these blessings. Amelia, if you could only be here now, remember that name, because we're going to hear it later. Uh, all right. So, yeah, so Dr. Kine is referring to the black marker, the first uh, marker... Uh, that was uh, kind of divine in unitology and kind of started the whole religion. And now here he is, and he's basically saying, you know, I'm kind of having some doubts about this, even though this is like history in the making. Like this is basically we're about to prove that our church's teachings exist, and I think this might be a bad idea. Now, of course, we know. Joseph, you love watching Dead Space? Yes, me too. You keep trying to stream it on Twitch, and it says no. That's weird. Um, I'm having no trouble streaming it. Um, I did get, uh, you know, people are telling me I got content warning on TikTok, and that's fine. Ooh. We probably should get content warning. Like, looking at this, like, it is still, like, the the injuries to necromorphs look way more realistic in this. So, like, I, I'm not even mad about that. Um, but it's interesting. Yeah, other people are saying, like, I guess uh, Xbox wasn't letting you stream it. I don't know if it was Xbox or Twitch, but maybe Twitch is uh, is holding off on it for a little while. But yeah, YouTube is uh, totally letting me do it. And by the way, if you're uh, hanging out on TikTok and you feel like coming over to YouTube, the link is in my bio. I normally do like more graphics and stuff, but now I'm just drinking this all in. All right, I think we got everything we can in this room. Can't get in here yet. All right, but you know what we're gonna do now? We gotta go meet the uh, we gotta go meet the lurkers, and you know. You may not recognize the name, but you know what the lurkers are. There's little freaking necromorph babies with the three tentacles, and we're about to get introduced to them. Uh, schematic for stasis pack, yes, please. I will definitely want that later. Plasma, plasma, plasma. Uh, let's see, do I have any more power nodes? I have no power nodes, all right, that's fine. Trucker Life 345, you're gonna wait for this game to come down in price. I mean, that is, that's that's a viable strategy. Okay, we do have a save station. Let's just save one. Just in case, the game could crash. You never know. 
Or, I mean, I am used to playing permadeath on Dead Space 2, so, like, I probably should be doing more of that. Uh, what platform am I on? Uh, Holly and Jack, I'm playing on Steam. And, uh, yeah, we're streaming to YouTube and TikTok. We have no, uh, no trouble. Uh, you wonder if they reskin the lurkers like in Dead Space 3. Maybe. We're about to find out, aren't we? Let me just see. Is there anything? Yeah, Kinesis feels more weighty, but there is a little bit more time before it, uh, before it, uh, it kicks on. But you know what? This looks like freaking control. You know how, like, you could easily just grab things and then just launch? Wow! You could just launch that hard. That's awesome. Oh, man. Jewel, I mean, like, if you haven't played the original three, I mean, oh, did you, you said that you love the Dead Space games. You should. I'm enjoying it so far. I really am. All right. Oh, it's all red. Oh, and he gets his neck and then pops up on here. Ah, gross. Later. Parsifal, thanks for following. Yeah, he, he does look a little bit different. He did look a little more red. I don't know if it was the lighting. Uh, this is, what is this? Security level three. Can't get in there yet. Okay. Now, if I remember right, uh, it's going to jump me when I get in there. And then there's a QTE. I don't know if that happens in this one. It happens in the original. Control is a good game. Control is a good game. Like, the, um, the battles do get... Oh, there you are. All right. Pop on open. All right, so these are a little weaker than the original game. Like one, I do have two, uh, like two damage upgrades to the plasma cutter, but like one shot just took the tentacle off. Uh, yeah, control's good. The um, the fights are a little repetitive, um, but the story and the world building is really interesting. I think control is definitely worth buying. Anything else here? I see something glowing. I don't know if that means I can. No, that's just a reflection. Okay. Holly and Jack said everything looks just more, uh, so much more crisp. I agree. Okay, I don't know. I heard something that sounded like a like a baby crying or something. That's new. Uh, text log Z Caswell to uh, to Z Caswell. Uh, specimen four two six is uh, ready for harvest. I don't know if that's an aliens reference. I believe the planet in Aliens was uh, LV four two six or maybe Alien. Um, I was about to notify Alvarez and uh, prep for medical leave, and when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable had moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been waiting on the list for three months now. I thought transplants uh, took priority over uh, cornea. Uh, here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it. Trust me, if you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of um, Hippocrates. Uh, uh, Hippocrates. <laughs> Shit rolls downhill. All right, well. Is it Hippocrates? Hippocrates? I think it's Hippocrates. Yeah, David, they definitely did add some stuff. Like, they, they've definitely thought about people who've played this game a lot and have um, worked it for them, too. Oh, man. All right. Ooh. Ow. They don't do much damage. Those took more damage. I wonder if the first uh, Lurker takes less damage just so you can learn how to fight it. Hippocrates. Yeah, thank you, Brian. You're right. Um, is that just a remake? That boy Chandler, I mean, I think that, yeah, this is this is a full-on remake. I think this is uh, this is definitely worth it for folks who know the original. What did I say? Hippocrates? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I guess it was like hypocrites or something. Oh, Jonathan, thanks for following. All right. I'm just looking around. Is there anything we missed? I think we're good. Yeah, I think the, the first Lurker was a little less hardy, just so you learn how to fight it. Uh, we got more credits. Uh, let's see. Limb Station. I think... I think this is the end. This is where we get the shock pad. Yep, there it is. All right. Let's get ourselves a power node. We'll go use that in a moment. And then Circuit Breaker... I'm kind of into this, like, circuit breaker uh, mechanic. It definitely feels like I'm like I'm doing some engineering. 
when you first saw the live, you thought I was playing the original. I mean, that's a testament to how well the original holds up. There's our shock pad. Answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Never played Dead Space thinking you'd start with this one now. If you've never played Dead Space, you could definitely start with this one and be fine with it. I mean, like, the original's good, but I mean, now that you have this. I'm just looking around. I think there's a. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's go back and get the bench. Because we have a power node. Let's use it. I'm going to have to do a little bit of backtracking here, but I don't think there's a bench kind of in the middle. Uh, did they add multiplayer? No, this is pure single-player game. Uh, besides crisp graphics, uh, they've definitely redesigned some of the rooms, some of the encounters. There's side missions. Um, there's the um, the zero gravity and the uh, the blade telekinesis that you get in Dead Space 2 is here. Um, I think it was worth it. Uh, multiplayer was so fun. Yeah, I mean, for the folks who love the multiplayer, I'm sure that's a bit of a letdown. All right. Let's see. Now, uh, Plasma Cutter, we can get Reload and Damage. But I think we, we probably need a Suit Upgrade. Uh, let's go with Stasis Size. Yeah, let's do the... I think we can only get this now. Uh, and then we can start to upgrade Stasis as well as get some HP upgrades. You just got that outfit in Fortnite. Yeah. A few folks have popped into chat and have been like, Hey, it's the guy from Fortnite. If you don't know, Isaac Clark is now playable in Fortnite. I have not played that yet. I, I played. I have played Fortnite. I have not played as Isaac. Is Callisto the new one for PS5? Yes, Callisto is also new, um, and it is also a space game. It's on uh, PS5. Yeah, you know that meme. Yeah. All right, let's go blow up a barricade. I've been playing, uh, because we've been playing uh, Dead Space 2 in hardcore mode, I've been using a lot of telekinesis, so I'm trying to... Do I get anything for that? No, nothing? All right. I've been trying to get back to using that, because it, it really helps to save your ammo. <laughs> will they make, uh, will they remake Dead Space 2? I hope so. I mean, looking at how well they did with this, I mean, I would be stoked if they remade it. Jewel, you love the Bioshock games? Me too. I don't know if, I don't know if I want to see a remake to Bioshock, but like um, I mean I definitely play it if it showed up. I'd love I'd love it if they continued the series though. Because three was I mean three was so freaking good. They opened it up for like they opened up uh, the possibility of just so much more in that world. You've seen the originals and it looks incredible. I agree. Alright, here's our bomb. It's gonna blow up the barricade. Yeah, this animation is all new. I think the bomb just appeared and then suddenly the barricade was gone. Yeah, Isaac, you should probably not be here. I'm gonna just get behind cover here just in case. Ooh. EJN, you can't justify playing full price. That's okay, I'm sure it'll come down in price in not too long. Oh! That's new. Oh man, he just rushed me. Woo. I did not expect him to do that. This game has Denuvo, does it? I wouldn't be surprised if it did. I mean, I feel like the frame rate is pretty solid. I mean, I'm only playing it on 1080p. Um, just because I can't Remember, stream it more than that. Morgue, find Captain Mathias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Okay, so this is the emergency room. This is where uh, the quest should pick back up for uh, finding Nicole. We are definitely going to be doing that. Large med pack. Oh, I'm going to sell that. Upgrade parts. 
Ooh, bring upgrade parts to the bench to improve. Pla That's new. All right. Um, where's the nearest bench? Oh, it doesn't give you the Dead Space 2 selector. All right, we will wait till we get to the next bench. I'm not going to backtrack all the way. But that is good to know. He's voiced by Chris Pratt. <laughs> Getting a PS5 when your refund deposits. Oh, man, good. I forgot to teabag him. You're right, I did. All right. I guess we... I hope we're going to get this uh, access level one. I want that, though. I want that, uh, that area. Okay, this is the room. This is the room when we were in Dead Space Impossible mode. It's on Chapter 5. So we're fine for now. But this was the room where we died in that run more than any other part in the entire game. I already have P PTSD just looking around this room. All right, we got a text log. Uh, let's see, Harris is asleep. So Harris is the uh, the patient. This was the one brought up from age of seven. Um, Harris is asleep, another dose of sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances, not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took uh, Dr. Shirello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Uh, specifically, uh, that Evans uh, wasn't a nurse when he killed her. Uh, this is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He's affable and friendly, able to sympathize uh, and offer original opinions. Uh, when questioned about uh, Evans' murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims the explanation uh, was, is stuck in his mind and that talking about it uh, mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinor uh, hallucinatory periods, uh, again, similar to uh, those experienced by other colonists. Uh, during long waking periods, uh, Harris exhibits writing behavior uh, on any available surface, uh, claiming the, the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. First time we've seen that in this one. Um, what that means, I haven't determined yet. Uh, given the complexities of the case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. Uh, Brent Blevins, yes, this is the new uh, this is the new one. Looks like you're watching uh, the stream with sunglasses on inside. Uh, it is pretty bright, uh, just because I have like, a couple lights on me and I want to be able to see everything. We're going to need that door later. I just want a hug. He doesn't have the graphics all the way up for stream. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, let's see. I have it. It's pretty well. I have the graphics that were on Ultra. It's just on 1080p. Because uh, I can't stream it higher than that on TikTok, so we may as well just leave it as is. Uh, yes, Brett, this is the new one. Let me see if something's going to pop out at me here. Just going to wander about here. So far, so good. Power cells to remove the battery. Uh, ensure no power is being used on the current breaker. Okay. What does that accomplish? Oh, I can open that door. Oh, man. Oh, we have the stasis jars. Oh, where are you? Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, he's Shit. Maybe I have some PHP left. Oh, thank you, my Lord Chaos. Uh, let's see. You make me want to play it, but you have homework. I mean, do your homework first, and then definitely play it. Okay, follow the hologram. And did she go in here? I think she did. What's here? We have an audio log. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations, but it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need. Wait, where's that report from engineering? Here. The engineers pulled something out of this machinery. This is all new. 
limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. All right, so we followed the hologram. View mission menu. What happens then? Uh, let's see. Side missions. Find autopsy location in engineering. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have a little side mission where we're going to kind of, like, breadcrumb what happened to Nicole or, like, where Nicole went. Um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, that was all new. That was not in the original game. Yeah, that's neat. Okay. Homework and studying never end. Yeah, I believe it. You're taking higher level nuclear classes. Yeah, I, I imagine they probably don't ever stop. Uh, we've got a user say, yeah, not on PS4. It's true. It's now PS5 only uh, if you're playing on PlayStation. We're playing this on PC. Uh, PS5 games are now $74 and change. Yeah, seriously. Next are going to push 90 Never paying more than 20 bucks for a game. That boy Chandler, is this on Game Pass? I don't know. Skyler Brown, thanks for following. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, so not much more we can do with the Nicole subplot in this chapter. Now, this was... We've already seen this, right? Is this the same thing? Loop and transmit to all personnel. Yeah, this is the same this thing. All right. senior medical officer, Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look Got at some blown voice. out vents. Nothing's jumped out at me in this room yet. So, so far, so good. Let's see this. Pulse rounds. Hence why you're in school, so you can have to better pay for the game in the future. Fair enough. I appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to go. We have to go this way. All right, so we need the battery. Let's go grab that. Uh, okay, so to remove the battery, ensure that no power is being used in the circuit. All right, cool. So then if we... How do we accomplish that? Turn off. Oh! Okay, so if we deselect what's available, then we can get the battery. Oh, something just popped out. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Come here, you little... There's more than one of them. I heard it, and I don't see it. There's the second one. There's something else, though. Uh oh Ooh. I just got splashed from behind. Something else is here. There you are. Anyone else? You. Woo! Oh, that TK came in handy. Okay. Do I still have... Let's see, on my inventory. I still have the large med pack. Oh, thank, thank the stars. I was hoping I didn't just use it just there. All right. Whew. Okay. That was good. Jewel, you would love this in VR? I don't know, man. I played Subnautica in VR, and that was intense enough. All right. Let's see. Let's find where are my, uh, my body's at. I love, love, love having the uh, the telekinesis from Dead Space 2 in this. This is great. They, they that was not announced yet too. They uh, they announced that they were gonna do the um, the uh, zero G, which they have, but having that makes it so much better. All right, I think that's all. Oh wait, no, there's one of them. Come here. Hundred credits. Another. You like how health re I don't know if health regenerates on its own. I think stasis regenerates on its own. I also could use more stasis in that fight, but that's fine. All right, let's roll on. Yeah, VR would be awesome, but not for you. I kind of feel that way too. I'm like, you know what? That would be a great feature for anyone who wants it. I love. It. I would love it if it was there. I don't think I'm gonna use it. All right, where am I going this way? Okay, so let's go. See if there's anything that we can collect. Like, I want it to exist. I just don't want to use it, you know? All right, anything else here? Ah, a little credit. Okay, let's roll on. 
Alright, we got one. Oh, I remember this freaking room. That's where we came in. It's a little redesigned, too. I think, like, uh, we used to start back here, and now we came in on this side door. <laughs> VR, for those of us who are a little dead inside, you could use a heart thumper. I am. I kind of feel like my heart monitor is not uh, not as high as it should be. When we were playing Dead Space 2 in Hardcore, it was like 130. Can I pull the tail? I don't think so. All right. Good to know. Moises, thanks for following. We will be back here Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Uh, and Sunday as well. Now, normally, I believe we have to go in here. I'm just going to search around a little bit before we do. All right, what do we got here? This is activate. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Ooh. I'll cut them out. Okay. Now, if I remember right, there's, uh, there's some stuff back here, but we also get jumped a little bit. Ow. Yep, I knew it. Always one right behind me. Oh, that stage just looks awesome. Oh, there's a third. Crap. Alright, we're swapping to the pulse right now. Oh, that looked incredible. Flashlight still from the late 80s. My phone puts out more light. That's fair. <laughs> you know, but if it was like, if it was super functional, it wouldn't be as scary. Jay Harrison, thank you for following. And yes, thanks for the reminder, my lord chaos. If you're watching it on YouTube, uh, feel free to subscribe so you can see Mercy. some more of the stream. This is Terrence Kine. Oh, wait a minute. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or, sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Okay. So, Kine was originally, like, reluctant to examine Harris, but now it seems like, uh, you know, that's kind of their only choice. Uh, Machine 3, uh, is it worth full price? I think so, but then I love the first game, so that's me. I mean, look, look, look at this shirt. <laughs> uh, you have the old Dead Space. I mean, the old Dead Space is still an excellent game. So, the, yeah, if, if you uh, if you still have just the old Dead Space, definitely play that. Um, oh, yes, and also for the folks on TikTok, uh, the link to my YouTube channel is in my bio. If you like watching over there. Either way, I'm just glad you're here. Oh, this person. I remember you. You're about to do something gross. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not mad that they content warned me on TikTok. That's good. I can live with that. I think she's about to... Oh, we're all going to burn for what we did to you. All right. Yep, yep. Well, that's one way to go. I don't think I get anything in here. I think that was just a little show. All right. Uh, what's over here? Credits. You love the original in two. You just don't want to know if you want to yeah, pay the full amount. That's fine. You know, I mean, video games do drop in price pretty quickly. If you wait until summer, you can definitely probably get like this on a bit of a discount. Um, but if you wanted to pay full price like I did, I think you would probably feel like you got your money's worth. Uh, let's see. All right. Save station. 
Uh, I will do. I'll just overwrite for now. I'm gonna end up saving it every slot later, or at least wait for EA Player Game Pass. I mean, if you want to, that's that's another uh, totally valid way to go about it. All right. Um, all right. Mercer's office is here. We will come back here in Chapter Five. I'm gonna use my small health hack um, real quick because we're about to meet the infectors. Emily, thanks for sharing. You wouldn't pay sixty dollars for a remake. You beat the oh! That's new. I mean, something similar happened in the original game where the windows blew out, but that there wasn't like it wasn't such a big explosion, and like my oxygen didn't uh, my backup oxygen didn't kick in as well. So that's uh that is uh very different. All right, here we go. Hoo hoo hoo! Parsonal, thanks for sharing the live. Yeah, that was wow. Uh, okay, we need a battery, and I don't know where we're gonna find that. Let's see. And we're not going anywhere until we do. All right, let's go find a battery. Save station. Where can I find myself a battery that's not being used? I think it's in the hallway. I think you're right. I think it's around here somewhere. I know there's one in the emergency room, um, but we can't get to this um, while removing that, I don't think. Let's see. Also, there's usually goodies hidden over here. No, not right now. Okay, that's fine. Like, there's definitely... There is a battery in there. We may just have to use it. The one you were in where the explosion was. Did I miss it? Maybe I did. Maybe we just did a little tour of this place for no reason. If there was a battery there, then then fine. Let's go see. That would make more sense because we can't pull the battery out of the emergency room without causing more problems for ourselves. All right, so we think it was in this hallway and I just missed it. It's under stuff. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, you're totally right. Thank you for uh, for mentioning that. Stasis the door, take the battery. Yeah, it could work. All right. Now then, when we go down there, we're gonna meet the infector for the first time. I'm used to playing on uh, uh, Impossible, and those things are bullet sponges. But we did find a great way to deal with that. Caution, cadaver storage capacity exceeded. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, there's the uh, the area. The captain's body is right over there. Oh, this... Oh, this, like, mist effect is totally new. You know what I'm going to do, though? Just in case. Because I know this works. Um, if the infector gets out, it's going to try to grab any bodies it can. Ooh, space effect. And I would like to avoid that if at all possible. Got some energy. Ooh, what is this? Credits. More credits. So if we can remove any of the bodies and just put it over here, we can we can make sure that it has to go down this path, and then it'll be a lot easier to take out later. Anyone else? Oh, there's one more. This might be overkill. We did this when we played it on Impossible because that room sucked. Yes, thank you, Trucker Life. This is the OG survival horror. I mean, this and Resident Evil kind of made the uh, made the whole thing what it is. Um, all right, I think. Let's press on. Oh, now normally in the, the, the standard game, uh, it drops down in here and we see the infector work without being able to go inside but it looks like we can go inside so i guess we're gonna get up close and personal here have i played parasite eve yes i have jewel i like parasite eve a lot oh i don't like that music all right there's matthias uh missing an eye 
Yeah, this is all new. We didn't do this last time. We're gonna, like, physically remove his rig. Oh, God! Yeah, that is... Oh. oh, crap. Okay. Okay, this is about to go bad. the rig is the infector still here because we got to take care of that now where are you yep you're over there exactly where i wanted you to be That thing was a bullet sponge. All right, you know what? I'm glad we did that. That was worth it. Whew. Okay. Well then. Scott Neely, you've literally never played a Dead Space game. Man, you are in luck because this seems like it would be an excellent way to start. My Lord K, I said this looks so cool. I agree. They, they really did a lot. That was like straight out of Dead Space 2. You know, where Franco comes in and, like, wakes you up, and then his face, like, he gets hit with an infector, and, like, his face, like, implodes on itself. All right, let's get the captain's Isaac, rig. what's your status? You have the captain's rig. Fuck me! Ugh. Transmitting codes now. You know... I saw it, Hammond. The flying <laughs> one turned the captain's body into another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Oh, that's good. You know, people were asking, like, how would I handle this versus Isaac? Like that. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be using a lot more language that I can't say on YouTube or other otherwise I'll get in trouble. All right. Uh, security clearance is now one. So now I can get into security clearance one doors. That's excellent. You wonder if the pulse rifle will be best against the infector. You might be right. Just because this thing is just all about damage output and you don't really have to worry about the limbs with the Infector, you're probably correct. Low boy, this game looks so crisp. You know what? I'm not responding to it's the guy from Fortnite in chat anymore because you all are just spamming that. I appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, that joke has been pretty well made thus far this morning. All right. Whoa. Drinky, thanks for following. Hey, Hammond. Isaac. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Wait, what? We have to go all the way back to the flight deck? Wow, are we just not going to take trams in this game? I guess not. Oh, look at that. Now we can open this stuff up. So, I guess we have to go all the way back to the flight deck and then use that to get to engineering, which is new. That did not happen before. We would typically just take the tram, but I guess we don't have to anymore. Wow. All right. Okay, let's clear out the stuff that we were supposed to get before and didn't, including that power node. Um, I think the door in that room was security level two, so we can't get there now. Isaac Clark is voice acting this one now. Yeah, yeah, so it's like they created some continuity between uh, Dead Space 1, 2, and 3 now, so they got uh, Gunnar Wright, the original voice actor, to come back and do Isaac Clark one last time. Are the controls better? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, like... Kind of famously, they uh, definitely did the PC port last for the original game, and you kind of have to do some tweaks to make it work. Uh, I think it's been working great. I'm playing on PC right now. I have no uh, complaints about the controls. All right, let's get my new power node. Clearance confirmed. Thank you. Okay. I don't recall if we backtrack a little bit, we might be able to get... Um, let me just check one more thing. 
because I think that there were some stuff that had security clearance uh, in this area here. And now that we have security clearance one, we could go back and get it. I just want to check before we leave. Oh, missed it. All right. There we go. Huge fan of the first two. Not so much. Yeah, that's a popular, uh, Derek, uh, popular opinion. If you were in Isaac's position, like, you would have more exasperated size. I would, too. I would be like, really, Hammond? Really? Are we still going to fix this place? Because things have gone very, very, very wrong. Uh-oh. That's open now. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. There might be something downstairs. I just want to see if there's, like extra gear that we can get down there. I don't think... I'm trying to remember in the other spot if there was some. I don't think there was. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Well, they definitely planned ahead for scavengers like me. Coming back here, because that, that is all new. Alright, he's just going to be up there and angry. Um, okay, nothing here. Oh, but there's a bench. Oh, yes, thanks to whoever uh, subscribed on YouTube. Plasma Cutter Upgrade Graph Extended. Uh, special new... Wait a minute, something... I hear someone. I don't know if I'm safe here. Okay. Just in case. Now you seem like you're dead. Okay. Whew. Okay. Uh, low boy, no, I'm just playing on an Xbox controller. Okay. Let's try that again. Without being so rudely interrupted. Uh, okay, so plasma cutter. Oh, now has that extension. That's great. Okay. All right, I can put these two in for damage. Or... Yeah, stomping for good measure is always a good idea. Or... We could get... Here's what I think is, is probably going to be a good idea. Um, we can get the HP upgrade. Let's get a little more stasis energy and one of these and then go to the plasma cutter and we'll get the reload. I was brave for uh, hitting the bench. I thought that the door would be able to, would be closed, but I guess not. Good lesson for me. Be fuddled. Thanks for following. Um, oh, it's a different guy. Oh, that one up there is still there. Okay. Oh. oh, you're bitter. I don't know if I can parry the spits like I can in Dead Space 2, but I bet I can. Oh, man. Normally, when you backtrack in this game, like, it's done. It's over. But now, there is just, there's still a lot of enemies still popping out here. I don't see him. So I think we're going to take our cue and leave. Something about the asteroid messes with your hand-eye coordination, and you have to, you know... You know what I've typically done? Is, um... I will always switch over to mouse and keyboard for the asteroid sequence. Because, man, I suck at it. I don't know what it is on, on the original's controls. I cannot beat it without going to my mouse and keyboard. Um, you know, we'll see if this one's any better. Came in with you stomping a mad hole in that thing. <laughs> hey, Sasuke, how are you? Uh, let's see. Next you want to buy so bad. Uh, Derek, you don't have a PC. Uh, if you have a PS5 or an Xbox Series X, you can play that too. Uh, okay, is there anything else? I'm trying to remember if there was anything in the imaging room. I don't believe there was. I think we're good. Everyone does hardest part of the game in your opinion. That's, you know, I could see that. He was indeed not safe. I was indeed not safe. You are correct. Um, I'm going to hold off on that power node just yet. I can always get it later. But I think in case we get uh, the... I don't remember when we get the level 3 suit. Alright, so we're going to head back to the hangar bay. Uh, Jay Bueller asks, can you play this on Series S? No, it's uh, Series X and PS5 only for consoles. Sorry about that. Do you know the vibes follow? Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Even the HUD is different a little bit. I mean, it's definitely, like, still an upgraded version of the HUD. 
Now, I believe... No, we are going to go on the tram. All right, good. So not going to make us take that shortcut back again. I guess the, the goal here is to say, like, is to try to cut down on the amount of backtracking. And I think they've done that pretty well. All right, so this is the new map. Uh, current station medical. Hopefully this goes better than the tram ride in Dead Space 2. Oh, and we can actually choose where we're going. Oh, that's neat. Oh, okay, we have to unlock the stations. But then we can actually choose, like, where we want to go. That's cool. All right. Flight deck tram control. Let's go. It's a little boxy. I got to say, I wouldn't mind a little room to breathe if I had my coworkers in here. Now arriving at flight deck tram control. Hmm. You're glad they gave Isaac a voice. I, I am too. I think it was the right call. Okay. Now then. Let's go to the hangar bay. Hammond has some idea for what he wanted us to do here. Yeah, Bradley Snooper, I'm glad that they, uh, that they did uh, give Isaac a voice. You know, I mean, like, it... Going back and playing the original, I mean, like, Gunner Wright did a really good job defining the character. Like, it definitely seemed like something that, like, only made sense. All right. Cod Van Gilder, yes, I am playing on PC. Hammond seems sus. Maybe. Security reporting retrieved. Where are we going? Uh-oh. Oh! This was... Okay, this is what happened to Chen. Let's we'll see. They just made us see that again. <laughs> okay, cool. So that was Chen, the uh, the Marine who died in the original, uh, or di died in the uh, the first level. All right, where are we going? We're going back to security check-in. And now where to? He wants me to go all the way to the hangar bay, and Hammond has some idea about how to get to engineering. This is all new. We have not done this before. We just took the tram last time. Isaac. This damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. Ooh. Yeah, this is all this is all You'll new. Need your thrusters to reach it, but that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. All right, we're going this way. There's chapter two down. I see something sparkly over there. I don't hear anything. We typically don't play this section until chapter 11. So that's very different from how the original game played out. I'm just looking around for anything I can snag. You gotta go all that way out there, okay. We got a box over here. Two boxes. Uh, let's see, can I? Can I push you down? I can. And then, that. Did I get anything for that? No, I guess not, all right. Okay. Anything else here? A couple of exploder tanks. This is like Prometheus with a, with a hologram, kind of. Is this game uh, lit? Yes. Yes, it is. My Lord Chaos, you have a bad feeling about this room, and you do too, Brian. I agree. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Let's get the hell out of here. Now I'm glad we got that air upgrade. That boy Chandler, you wish this was split screen? I mean, I... Yeah, I. you know, for folks who like co-op, um, yeah, you could have had a lot of fun with this. I like having single-player games, like... Um, just playing on my own. I think it's just so much fun. Uh oh, now we got a one of you. Come here, buddy. Anyone behind me? Yep, sure was. I'm on your tricks, dead space. All right, you're you're done. Give me that. Small med pack. I guess we're going all the way down. Yeah, this this right here, this is all new. This none of this was in the original game. We just took a train ride. How are we doing? 40 seconds, not too bad. Uh where am I supposed to be going here? Oh, going further down. 
This does not appear to be engineering. Okay, Isaac is already struggling for breath here, so we gotta move. Let's go quick, quick, quick. For the vacuum. Oh, thank you. Woo, that was close. That boy Chandler and Derek, thanks for following. Yeah, they did. Yeah, the demon babies weren't. Uh, you know, they're still here. They're definitely still here, but they're not too hard to take down. Lock it. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous environments. James, thanks for following. Uh, yeah, I think uh, this is definitely worth picking up if you like the original Dead Space. I'm having a blast with it. All right, we got one of you. I saw the lurker in there too. We'll deal with that. Okay. I'm here. Let's see. I'm gonna try the full try. Yeah, it's actually. Brian, I think you were right. Using the pulse rifle on the ones where, like, accuracy isn't necessarily, like, so important is actually a pretty good idea. All right, what do we got here? You are security level one, storage. Uh, let's go in there. What does it say? We are not punished for our sins? I mean, I don't know. I think you're being punished pretty hard for your sins right now, everyone on the Ishimura. Eddie and Jay Bueller, thanks for following. You thought Callisto Protocol was supposed to be a new version of the game? It kind of is. But this, this right here, this is what we were all waiting for. This is so much fun. Oh, man. There's no way you could play this by yourself. Well, don't worry. I'm not playing it by myself. I have 100 people watching me right now. <laughs> I got 100 of my closest friends all chilling out with me. Now, when I play it later, I'm going to be playing by myself, and I'll definitely be more scared. <laughs> Especially because I, I have those light strips that, like, um... Uh, we'll, uh, we'll flash the color around the room. Oh, man, it looks so cool. I played the original Dead Space, but that looked really good. This is going to be even better. Adding to my... I, uh, okay, this is Danvers. Adding to my maintenance priority request. Maybe something in writing will help them pay attention. That unidentified growth reported somewhere on the ship reach engineering. Not sure uh, even medical knows what the heck this stuff is. Uh, it looks like someone threw their guts up all over the walls and smells about the same. It's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is pretty disgusting in itself. It's already busted up the cargo lift. And it's getting uh, into the engine spoke. If we can't find a way to stop it soon, it'll be all over the main engine chamber by the day after tomorrow. Meantime, I'm heading to the mining deck. Uh, they've got PFM 100s in storage for ice mining. They should, and they can spare the fuel. Uh, maybe cauterizing the stuff will do the trick. Just hope it doesn't smell worse when it's on fire. Nah, nice. Have I seen Dead Space Downfall? I have not. Um, let's see. Uh, I have not seen uh, Dead Space Downfall, but I've heard it's good. I can watch it on YouTube. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Cool. Governor, what are, good to see you, man. How are you? What are my first impressions? Uh, I'm loving it. This is great. This is absolutely worth it if you're a Dead Space fan. Like, all the good reviews uh, definitely made sense. Orbital position compromised. All right. Correct course immediately. So, uh, the, we're going to have to refire the engines, it seems. Reach the engineering deck, and here we are. Anything down here? Okay. Let's go down here and see what this is. Oh, and then find the autopsy location in engineering. All right. So somewhere, Nicole performed an autopsy. Oh, this is the tram station. And I guess we can use this then to, like, we've got, uh, what else here? We can open this up, and then now we can go, we can tram between the stations. Station now accessible. Thank you for your patience. That's so cool. Okay. So that kind of opens up like fast travel between the zones. Awesome. All right. Yeah, they've really changed up how this works. Kayla Dunham, hi, good to see you. Welcome. We are playing uh, Dead Space the remake. We've been at it for about three hours now. Just rolling through it. Now we just started chapter three, if you know the game. Okay, I definitely remember this room. Uh, we'll get an infector in here later. It's gonna take care of this guy. I, I'm gonna see if this still works. So, when we played the original game on Impossible, we did this, 
and it did not, in fact, uh, solve our problem. But an infector's gonna show up and, uh, and eat that guy's core plate or turn him into a necromorph, and so we tried to remove this guy and just take him out of the equation here by just taking his corpse and just tossing it on the tram tracks. However, the corpse respawned in the original game. I wonder if that's gonna work here too. All right, let's see. Three hours of no death, that's correct. Uh, we are playing on medium though, so that's not exactly the accomplishment that it could be. All right, let's see. Uh, anything else here that's gonna jump out at us? No. All right, store has what for us now? Nothing special. Ooh, we got some new stuff. Okay, plasma cutter upgrade. Uh, heat accumulator, bring this to the... Okay, so the upgrade parts will then just extend what we can upgrade at the uh, on the rig. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one power node. Just so we have it for later. That keeps the dead from coming back to life. That's true, that could work too. Let's see here. All right, let's go to the control console and see what we need in engineering. Yeah, this place has gone to hell, hasn't it? in the control room. Any news on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need to stabilize our orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. All right. So a little bit of a different cutscene from what we saw before. I think Kender was involved in that, too. It's going to be nice if you can preempt the area like that. I hope so, Alex. We'll, we'll see. All right. So we got to refuel the, uh, the two engines. And then after that, uh, we need to, uh, let's see, get the, I think it's stabilized the gravity tethers. I'm trying to remember. All right. So, like before, we always get three objectives. Let's go get our first one down here in the engine. Wait, what is this? Audio log. Engineering log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. Jacob Temple. Temple. Christ, still can't believe the Chief is gone. It's all fallen apart since the Captain died. Everyone down here is on their last nerve. We thought the rioting was the worst of it. Until those things came through the vents. Their faces. Fuck, those were my lunch buddies. Liz's friends. Old boyfriends. And out of nowhere, the engines are screwed. Primary's laboring, we're hemorrhaging fuel. Fuck if I know why. I'm taking Danvers to the fuel depot to fix it. Gotta keep the team focused or we'll crack. Temple out. <gasps> oh, hello, my old friend, the Ripper. Oh, we are about to have some fun with you. All could be praise. Nice. Um... Yes. Okay, so if you haven't watched me stream Dead Space before, I love the Ripper. Um, let's get into my inventory. And... Let's see, that's a gold semiconductor that I probably should have sold off, but that's okay. Um, and we're going to equip you down below. So. Yeah. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. All right. Um, we are going to test you out in a moment. Looks like we can go here to the bathroom. We have... Security request retrieved. We need help down in engineering. Never set those flyers up. I don't want to. I don't want to. Henderson, your teeth. He's pulling his teeth out. Just ah. hold him. Where the fuck is security? Ah. Oh, God. He's dead. No, he's alive, but he hit that sink pretty hard. Yeah, he's not dead. His own teeth. Chief, what the hell is happening? I don't know. <laughs> Cancel security request. Henderson needs a medical bay. And a shrink. He needs more than that. I hate to break it to you. Okay. All right, now we definitely have some folks, some bodies lying around here, which means that we may get somebody playing possible. Lane. Probably needs the damage upgrade because it took two blades to take that thing down. 
Oh, man, that's good. Yeah, they are very calculated and smart, uh, Jeremy. I agree. I mean, they're basically, you know, they still have their human um, their human uh, intellect to a point. Good game, not as scary as Callisto Protocol. I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is scarier, but that's me. You know, that's objective. Okay. Oh, yes, and thank you. Uh, yes, thank you, whoever subscribed on YouTube. Glad to have you here. Yeah, we're going to get a damage up upgrade to the Ripper. Dead Space 1 and 2 dwarfs Callisto Protocol. I mean, everybody likes what they like. If you like uh, Callisto Protocol, that's cool. I enjoyed it, too. I think there's a lot to like about Callisto Protocol. Um, I do wish that they had um, they had made it. Uh, they hadn't rushed it so quickly. I definitely feel like it was rushed. Ooh. Autopsy report, Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig identifies the subject was junior engineer David Swenson. The subject was dismembered after falling into machinery, allowing... Postmortem spasms. The chest contains a yellow vial seen in other specimens. I've seen this vial react to dead or bioprosthetic cells. The dead tissue is absorbed, recombined, then reanimated. The vial shares genetic markers with human DNA and a growth on the walls. It's all connected to the marker from Aegis 7, but how? Dr. Kine studied the marker, but Dr. Kine has vanished. Yep. Unless he's with the survivors on the mining deck. Pretty sure he's in the brig by now. No Depending on when this is now, David. I promise. No. No, Nicole. I understand why you'd think that. Okay. Let's see. Now, if we view the mission menu. So, for those of you who are just joining, there is a side mission. Okay, we got to find uh, Kynes hideout on the mining deck. That's not until Chapter 7, so we got some time. Um, you may not have recognized. Uh, you probably haven't seen that before. So, we have... Uh, Nicole's um, history is kind of being shown to us, um, and we've been kind of tracking her her progress. Oh man, okay, so we are out of space. I'm gonna drop these eight pulse rounds. I would much rather have that gold semiconductor. Um, now we're not entirely sure. This is all new. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna find at the end of this little breadcrumb trail, but apparently we are seeing like what Nicole was doing as the, the Ishimura was uh, kind of headed for its downfall here. Oh, Rocket, thanks for following. Oh, man. All right. So I think we're just going to keep looking for little side paths like that. How much difference is there from the original? I mean, Zachary, as you can see, the graphics are still very good. They've definitely changed up enough to keep me on my toes, and I know the original Dead Space very well. So I think it was it's it's been absolutely worth it so far. Oh wait, we gotta go this way. Yep, Dan, this is the uh, the all new Dead Space. Uh, okay, so where are we? Where were we actually supposed to go? That way. All right. Will is the new game good? I certainly think so. Don't see it anywhere. All right. Now with the upgrade, one blade takes him down. It's still a long reload time, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. I think that's our objective there, but I just want to see if we can spot any items. There were some items around here in the original game. I don't know if there's any in the remake. No, there's something. What do we got? Credits? Box. Goodbye, box. 
They keep the video of the guy throwing the spikes. Um, I mean, I don't know, let's see. I can definitely still throw spikes. So, like, we have the telekinesis from Dead Space 2, which is a very welcome addition. Warning. Fuel preserves depleted. Main engines offline. All right. So, let's see. Um, where, where are we headed? This way. All right. Gonna run the engines. Okay, so we're going to pull this platform over. Come here. Yeah, the music is very good. It's very, like, ambient, doesn't get in the way at all, but, like, my anxiety just spikes the moment it, like, it starts up, because I just know something just... Alright, off we go. I'm gonna swap back to the plasma cutter. Or, no, you know what? The pulse rifle. Pulse rifle would be good. We gotta use up some of this ammo. We are running out of space in our inventory. MLC40, thanks for following. Oh, Kenny Fisher, thank you. Appreciate that. Kenny and Tyler, thank you for following. Have I played Callisto Protocol? Yes, I have. Uh, my last video on YouTube was on Callisto Protocol. Uh, we kind of talk about, like, what I can fix about the story. Uh-oh. Hold on, before we get into that. Uh-oh. Ooh, stasis. I, I gotta use stasis more. I'm actually running... I have too many stasis packs right now. I gotta get into it. Um, pulse rifle is all you need. I don't love the pulse rifle, but I also haven't upgraded it at all. So I'm willing to bet if I actually spend some nodes on it, it would be better. Um, but I don't know. It just doesn't lack the punch I want. Why are they calling it a remake? I mean, it is rebuilt from the ground up. Last valve done, Chief. Progress report filed by Jacob Temple. The engine problems aren't a malfunction. Someone shut off the fuel lines to the primary engine and damaged the valves to hell and back. We just wasted an hour fixing them. Now we need to restart the south refueling station, but some jackass turned off the power and locked up the circuit breaker. Whoops. No okay, engine. we gotta go do that. We're gonna hit planet fall soon. What now? There's gotta be someone around here how to spare access card. Go see. Wait, you hear that? Sure did. Go! Oh. All right. That thing's going to spawn around me. I just know it. Will they remake the second one as well? I mean, like, if this one is a is a success, why not? Oh, right. I have a ripper. What am I messing around with the plasma ammo for? I mean, and honestly, Dead Space 2 holds up really well. We've been streaming that on this channel, and we've been having a blast with it. So, like, you can absolutely play Dead Space 2 today and still have a great time with it. That's great. Looking forward to it. They should team up with From Software. <laughs> oh, man. The games are hard enough as it is. I don't know if I want From Soft having a hand in this. All right. Credits. Uh, still no power. You got to resolve that. Okay. So, where are we going to find power? Now, I don't think... Okay, I have to go somewhere else to give this power. So let's follow the hose back to where? Exactly. Down below here. You like the first better personally? I think that's totally fair. If I had to pick, I'd go with the first. But, like, they're both good. Okay, we need the key card. The key card is somewhere. We don't know where it is. But until then, we can't get in... There, oh, there is a window. Ah, what are you? You are just a prop. Now you 
you are something that looks like it's no power node room in there don't know that I can open the door using this window and telekinesis unfortunately um Does the pulse rifle still have a grenade launcher on it? It probably does. I haven't used the alt fire on it yet. All right, so here's the deal. We got to get into this room somehow to reroute the power. Because the power to restart the fuel is in here. However, uh, the card is somewhere. We don't entirely know where. And there's an open window. There, well, there's a broken window. But it doesn't seem like that's going to allow us to open the door. That might not be it. Try using the red canister to blow it up. Maybe. That might work. Let's try it. Okay, I can slip you in there. And then... Don't think that accomplished anything. But, good try. Break the other window. Can we? Let's see. No, not so much. What about this one? No. Uh, if there's more red canisters, and there are, I feel like there's a bunch of red canisters around here that seems like that's probably a solution. Let me try. No, that didn't do anything. All right. We could try blowing up the, uh... let's see. Well, I don't want to blow up the power. Also, there's a lot of O2 all of a sudden. I don't know why. Let's see. Is there more? Okay, there's no more red tanks. I feel like if there were, if the red tanks were a necessity, it would just be giving them to us. So somehow, we got to find a way into this room. And I feel like this, this window would not be broken if there wasn't a reason for it. What did I just get? More props. Yeah, not even a scratch. So I got to feel like it's something else here. Let me look around. See if we can find ourselves a card key. We've been down here yet? There's just a vent. Nope, there's something else. The save station we used. Oh, we were there before. All right. Yeah, it's got to be around somewhere. I'm sure we're just missing it. Yeah, because that's the... I wonder if... I wonder if we have to go do the other one first. That's possible, but I feel like that would be weird that they would... Oh, oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aha, there you are. Thank you. We just hadn't looked around hard enough. All right, let's go back and open the door. Oh, hey, Kendra. Isaac, damn it. Daniels, you made it. Thank God. After the bridge, I saw the bridge. After this point, I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them, but I don't think they know I'm here. Isaac, I've tracked down your rig. You're an engineer, right? I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help. So I guess... Okay, so we have life support and lights. Okay, so we can turn on life... We can turn off life support. And we can keep the lights on. And that's why there's the O2 things around here. Or we can turn off the lights, which probably means we're going to get jumped. Uh, what difficulty is it on? Because I remember um, playing on hard, you had to stomp on them for a month. We're playing on normal right now. Yeah, there's there's been a couple of these where, like, you have to choose between turning off the lights or something else, and surely we're going to get jumped. I just don't know where from. Yeah, by you. Getting anxiety already. You and me both, dude. You and me both, Jeremy. Uh, Brian, any update on Nicole's rig? We found the autopsy room, and then uh, apparently she is searching for Dr. Kine. And Dr. Kine apparently has some kind of a hideout on the mining deck. Now, the mining deck's not till Chapter 7. So we have a little bit of time before we're going to see Nicole again, I think. Okay, we have to use Jesus. Down. 
All right, that's one engine down. Or one refuel sequence down. Additional fuel required for engine restart. All right, what just popped out? Oh, there you are. Oh. All right, you're no, you're no good with the Ripper. here though it certainly sounds like it bodies that we had from earlier. I just want to make sure that none of them are playing dead. I think we're safe. All right, let's go back. Are there exploding babies as well? Well, Caleb, the exploding babies were in two, but I mean, I don't think that that would mean that they're going to be here, but I don't know. They have brought back several mechanics from two, so it's entirely possible. Okay. So far, so good. Lot, thanks for following. Use your bunch of numbers. Thank you for following as well. Jacob, thank you for following. Anthony, uh, I'm on YouTube, actually, uh, not on Twitch. The link is in my bio if you want to join us over there. Same for everybody else. Oh, man, the Ripper is so freaking good. I would have loved this game anyway, but the fact that they made the Ripper good, uh, just, just, mwah. Mom, the meatloaf, thanks for following. Oh, look at that. This was the easy one that we totally just bypassed. Alright. Alright, so we can fire the engine. Uh oh. Okay, I've got a fuel reading. Three, four, four. It should be enough. I still need to get the centrifuge working before we start. Someone really screwed this fuel once. Uh oh. Oh, nice job, man. else I just want to make sure we don't use that large med pack because I want to sell it probably gonna bank some of these stasis packs too while we're at it because we are starting to run out of room that is one problem with using the ripper is that like it doesn't use very much ammo which means that your inventory starts like it oh my god it worked it freaking worked oh my god I saw the infector in there and the body's gone. Yes! Jacob, thank you for the game controller. Woo! Okay. Uh, yeah, let's try the pulse rifle. Sorry, dude. Oh, he's still trying. Look at that. Sorry, bud. <laughs> oh, thanks, Brian. Yeah, um, uh, it's been really great to be able to, to co-stream on TikTok. Um, and thank you, everybody, watching on TikTok. I appreciate you being here. Um, yeah, it, you know, the, and I think there's also just a lot of exposure for this game, too. Like, a lot of people are really interested in that. All right, we're going to move a couple of things. Okay, new item available for purchase. Ricochet Tracer for the Ripper. Is that, like, an upgrade for it? Yeah, it is. Ooh. 
Bring this part to the bench uh, to extend the upgrade path and gain access to a special upgrade. Okay. Um, let's see. First things first. We have a couple of things. We have some gold semiconductors. We need to sell those. Those are just bank credits. Cool. All right. So now we got 18,500. I am going to move some of these stasis packs to storage. We don't need all those. All right. I think we will... That's, oh, and I'm going to sell this large health pack. We're not going to need that. All right. Now, I'm going to get me the uh, Ripper upgrade and a power node. Wait. Uh, I do have enough. Yeah. All right. Now that we got to restart the engine, I'm going to use some of these smaller ones here. Maybe save my game while I'm at it, because we've been at this for a while now. Again, I presume there's autosave, but man, doing Dead Space 2 on hardcore has just trained me. Never take your save points for granted ever again. John and he, thanks for following. Activate the centrifuge. Okay. Now, I'm curious to see how this uh, is different from the original, if at all. Um, the reason I say that is because, like, if you ever watch my, my Dead Space 1 video, The Brilliant Levels of Dead Space on YouTube, we talk a lot about the sound in the next room. Uh, because it was actually created... Uh, so I'm in San Francisco, and it was actually created off of our um, our subway system here called BART. Um, has just a horrible noise going underneath the San Francisco Bay between San Francisco and Oakland. And they actually used that noise as a jump scare in the original Dead Space. And we're about to get to that part. I don't know if it's going to be in the remake or not, but I'm so curious. Austin, thank you for following. And Jonathan, thank you for following. Good to have you. All right. Yeah, Jewel, it's pretty cool. Like, the, the the sound was so just ridiculous. Yeah, Caleb, that's really what that sound is from in the engine room, where there's, like, no monsters, but there's just, like, a huge, awful cacophony. That's just the sound of our subway system here in San Francisco. Like, there's just there's one section of uh, the underground tunnels where the noise is just terrible. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did they not have it? No, they just skipped it. Okay, never mind. It's not in the remake. Well, that's a bummer, but it's only a bummer for me, so that's fine. Oh, man. All right, there's a storage room. Uh, what do we have here? Credits. One. Yeah, it was pretty terrifying to walk into. I wonder if it'll be later on. I don't know. We'll see. If not, that's fine. Uh, we have medium med pack. I'll take that. Box. Credits. Anything else? No, oh, that's it. All right. Next up, we probably have the uh, decontamination chamber, which is usually just a big old stand-up fight. Yep, there it is. I know that room all too well. It just looks a lot shinier now. Looking shiny. I don't remember the name of the rest of that song, but it's a great song. All right. Um... Text log. What are you? Engineering log. More absences. It's not just the unitologist sneaking off for religious exemptions or whatever. Uh, we're seeing serious gaps in the rotation. People going on uh, sick with sleep deprivation, self-inflicted injuries, or just disappearing. They go off ship. They don't come back. Uh, someone said the ship's been attacked. Bullshit. We're at the ascent of nowhere. Who'd come all this way to attack a mining ship? And yeah, the uh, captain's dead. But Carmack says uh, one of the bridge staff killed him. I swear uh, to God, the rumors on this deck are getting out of control. Uh, update. Last con lost contact with the bridge. No rig link. No security hardline. Nothing. Okay, this is beyond rumors. Uh, we're getting out while we can. All right. Clearance confirmed. And what are you? Plasma energy. Cool. Okay. Oh, we got a bench. Uh, Mika, is this only on PC? Uh, no, if it's on a PS5 and Xbox Series X as well. So you do have to have like a new gen console for it. Uh, MJ Bell, you said, uh, if you never played the original, do you think this is worth the $70? Personally, yes, I do. Um, and I play the original a lot, so I know the game, but I actually think this is really well done. Um, if you've never played it before, I mean, so far, this feels really faithful to the original. So I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, what do I want? Okay, so we could do one, two, three, and get another HP upgrade. Or... We could do, oh, we can't leave behind a damage upgrade for the plasma cutter. And then what about the Ripper? Now we got the Ripper upgrade, which is now, okay, here's the thing. 
I actually want to do the Ripper. Capacity and reload. We'll get the damage next time because I do want to uh, get damage for the Plasma Cutter. Chaos Punks, is this on PS4? Nope, sorry. It's uh, PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. Yeah, they, they skipped the last gen for this one. I know some people are bummed about that. All right. Okay. So now we got to decontaminate ourselves, and unfortunately, we're about to be locked in. That's okay, because I got a ripper. This looks so good with the current graphics. Come on, where are you? Oh, something's popped in. Where are you? Oh, what are you? What else? I think you're dead now? Ripper doesn't do very well on those things. We gotta swap back to the pulse rifle or something. You, however, they're gonna do great on. Come here. What else? Where are you? That's it. Sweet. Uh, Andy and Chaos Punks, uh, and Dick, thanks for following. Thank you for your patience. All right, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, MJ Bell Productions, I, I am having a lot of fun with this. I think this would be a great thing for you. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Schematic for what? Medium med pack. Oh, heck yeah. Mm. This is plasma energy. All right. More Ripper Blades. Bridger Ramon, thanks for following. Oh, man. See, this this section right here is in Dead Space 2, where you have to come back to the Ishimura, and that's just giving me flashbacks. All right, let's go see over here if we get anything fun. You just played, uh, paid, uh, oh, you, you just played Callisto. You're about halfway through, and you put it down. You've to pick it back up. Honestly, I hate the I, I like the Callisto Protocol. The first half is the better half. So if you were already kind of bored with the first half, I uh, I hate to say it, but you're not gonna like the second half. Um, ooh, what is this? Credits. All right. So we're getting our first tentacle drag sequence coming up here, where it's gonna grab me. Uh oh, something's happening. What? Oh, it's you. Now you got a friend. Pulse Rifle hasn't been bad for those things. Either. I know I said some nasty things about the Pulse Rifle earlier. But it's actually... It's been pretty good against Lurkers. Not, that not much scares you because you have a gun in most games. I mean, that's true. You know, if you have a gun, it does make your, your life a lot easier in these games. That's why I kind of prefer games where you don't have them. That was really loud, though. Bronze semiconductor. Okay, we got what looks like an airlock. Save our game just in case. Jewel, yep, that's my heart monitor. It's definitely not as, uh, it's definitely, I feel a little calmer today than, uh, I usually play uh, play these on the hardest difficulty, and my heart rate just, like goes in the triple digits like the whole time. Okay, we're back to this room. Entering zero gravity. Oh man, look at this! This looks so cool. Warning: centrifuge offline. Please attach generator modules manually. Okay, so 
Oh, there's a... Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a third level now. There used to be just the upper level and then the floor, and now there's a mid-level. That is very, very, very new. Okay. Grab this. Uh, let's see. And I guess we'll just fly ourselves on down. There's no elevator. What's on this mid-level? Anything special here? It doesn't appear to be. Oh, how am I connected? Uh, so I have an Apple Watch. Um, and so there's an app. It's called Hyperate. So if you, uh, anyone here is a streamer and you want to use it too, go for it. Um, and it just takes my heart rate from my Apple Watch and then just makes it a browser. Yeah, it's super easy. Alright. Uh, what else is here? Okay, so we gotta restart our centrifuge. So we gotta figure out. We gotta reattach these two things here that it requires. Uh oh, something's here. I don't know what it is, but something just woke up. Where are you? I don't know if they're uh, they're gonna start shooting things at me. All right, I don't see anything, but I definitely hear them. They're here. All right, well. They down below? I'd like to take them out of the equation first. Uh oh, there you go. in the original. I think there's still one more. There's something here. Where are you? I freaking hear you. You are everywhere right now. God, the audio is so good. Now, there it is. I think that's the one we just did, though. There it is. All right, that's an arm off. Thank you. Okay. Is there another generator to attach, or is that it? Might be. Let's see. There's usually a big old red board that tells me. Thanks for being here, Joyce. Oh, and Mylar Chaos as well. Thanks for, uh, for hanging out. Yeah, we've been going for a while, so no worries about that. Thank you for being here, though. Really good to see you. Oh, there's the other one. All right. Oh, Thomas, uh, yeah, this is not my first. It's my first playthrough of the remake, but, I mean, I've definitely played the original plenty of times. Um, how is the gameplay? Same as the old one? I mean... It's definitely, like, it's improved up to, like, 2023 standards, but I think it's still just as good. Stasis you. And then bring you in. There we go. All right. Yeah, the sound is super good. Generator module attached. I feel like that was one thing they could not have cheaped out on, because the original sound is also super good. All right. Cool. Okay, so we uh, have now, when we start the centrifuge, I think we're gonna run out of air, and we're gonna have to figure out how to get out of the room. Because this room is definitely different than the last time. Ooh. Oh, this is all new. At least I think it is. Centrifuge activated. Re-establishing balance with tectonic load. That's great, but let's get the heck out of here. Oh, we can, we can get the heck out of here. All right. 
Uh, yeah, there is a secret ending. I mean, obviously we haven't got there yet because this just unlocked a few hours ago. Looks like the centrifuge is back online. I will tell All you. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Just a second. Ready when you are. Yep, Hammond, as soon as I can get out of this death trap that I'm in right now, I will be happy to help with that. Oh, God. Oh! That was not fast enough. I wonder if I had to stasis it. That is our first death of the game. That, that section always gets me. I don't know what it is. I die in that all the time. All right, let's try that again. Okay, good. They do checkpoint you. Good to know. Oh, man. Uh, Mike Rivera, what is new? Um, so, they definitely have a lot of new, like, dialogue and additional, like, Looks character like development things. Um, a lot of the dialogue is rewritten as well. Engines, right? Can Ready I stasis you, you? I don't know if I can stasis that thing. Um, how am I going to get around that? I don't want to take up too much time, because obviously... Okay, I can't stasis here, so I guess we just gotta... Oh, do I... Nope, I can't run either. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm definitely gonna die at this. All right. Um, that's cool. Yeah, it's gonna come around again. How are we gonna do this? Let's see. There's gotta be a way. So I tried I tried throwing stasis, and it wouldn't let me. Um, I wonder if I'm... Oh, because I'm out of stasis. That might be the issue. Um... All right, stasis pack, it is time for you to do your thing. Yeah, okay, so now I have my stasis back up. It'll probably work then. I think that was the issue. Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Ready when you are. Okay, so I think it worked, but let's try to keep a closer eye on it and see if we can stasis it. Nope. No, that's not stasisable. Go left? Okay, we can try going left. I mean, like, that's it's got to be, because we can't go right. I mean, there's just no way we can get around that. Also, I got an update. We're on, like, three deaths now. All right. All right, let's try going left. Use that stasis pack. Oh, come on, let's go. Yeah, because in the original game, you went right. Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? All right, let's go. Ready when you are. Aha! Yeah, that's way easier to get to. All right. Okay, let's roll. No time for you. All right. Got my O2 back. Let me get my ripper up. That'll be good for close encounters. Let's go. Okay, uh, do we go this way? Yeah, we do go up here. There is something right over there, though. I just want to see if that's like a special thing. Maybe a power node or something hidden over there. Nope, nothing. All right, let's go. All right, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Run Forest 1. Uh, Want to play? Is it worth seventy dollars? I mean, that's kind of up to you. I am. I mean, this is, I think, uh, you know, a really good version of the game. And if uh, it's it's worth it to you, to oh, there's the uh, lurker or leaper. If that's worth seventy dollars to you, then awesome. Um, I'm having fun with it. I have had no regrets. I gotta move. I've had some very close calls with this air. Come on, come on, lock the air, let's go. Woo, that was close. Yeah, my personal recommendation is yes, if you can afford it. Um, you know, if you want to wait for a price drop, that's up to you, but I'm into it. I love Isaac's basic, like, just, just all the, like, forget all this noise attitude in this. Oh, here we go. Time for some tentacle dragon. Where is that? Come here. That's one hit. Two, three. Four, four, four five, six, seven. Gotta reload. There we go. Okay. Brandon Spivey giving you anxiety all over again. I know the feeling. Give me anything. No. Let me 
to see if there's anything over there. I think there is. Or there was before. Text log. <laughs> okay, so text log. What's keeping them? Centrifuge is still on offline. We're running out of time. No wriggling contacts since they left. They're gone. We armed them with everything we had. We sent word if there was trouble. Wait, would they fall down a hole? Uh, there's full, there's a full tectonic load hanging off our ass. Uh, what if we turn off the gravity tethers, drop the load, buy ourselves time? Temple says, I tried. Uh, unless I rip out half the ship's wiring, it takes a CEC board member's override to drop all that ore. Uh, can't risk uh, pissing off the shareholders. And without the center views to balance the ship, we're talking planet fall in hours, if we're lucky. MJ Bell, can I, fly, can I fly a little to get around? I wasn't able to fly when the centrifuge kicked on, but we made it out, so we're okay. You might be watching this on a little bit of a delay. That's okay. That's what I like about YouTube, is you don't you you can start from the beginning on a stream if you want to. Um, okay, so that's the way we gotta go, but before we do, let's run over here and just see if there's anything over here. Oh, we were here before. Alright, now we're good. Alright, let's roll. They added three heads to the tentacles. Oh, I missed that. We have to go through DCOM again. I can already hear them screaming. Oh, no, we don't have to. All right, that's good. I hear something out there. Let's check before we hit that bench. Computer, stop. <laughs> I thought I would be long done with the stream by now, and so my uh, Echo is talking to me right now. All right, let's see. Uh, I have no notes. All right, let's roll. Pretty sure he left a node. There's a box in the mass. Really? Rel? Um, hey, you know what? For a node, I'll go back and check. Rel thinks that there is a node in the left in the mass over there. Uh oh Something got left anyway. Let's go see. All right. So yeah, like, did the tentacle drop a node? I think there was a node in the original game. I didn't see one in the remake, but you know what? Let's find out. There is a. There is. Oh my gosh, you are totally right. Thank you for uh, letting me know that. Can you grab their blades, Marquise? Yes. Yes, you can. You could not grab the blades in the original Dead Space, but you can now. Aaron, thanks for following. Uh oh. Uh. All right, let's go. All right, let's use this new node we got. Thank you, Raul. I don't hear anything out and about, so I think we're safe. All right, what do we want to upgrade? We have the suit. We get the size of our stasis and kind of work our way over to our next HP upgrade. That's not a bad idea. Plasma cutter, we just got damage, uh, so we're good there. Uh, Louis, this is on normal just for our first playthrough. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up doing an impossible mode stream because we've done that a couple of times now. Yeah, let's get the damage upgrade, the ripper. I'm just going to be using that a lot in this playthrough. Uh, Jester, uh, yay or nay on the remake. I mean, I'm having a great time with it. So if you were, you know, debating on it until you heard, like, reviews and stuff, I really recommend it. All right. Going that way. We've already been in their storage. So let's kick this back over. Uh, I'm, I'm bummed that they did get rid of the engine room segment, but that's okay. Um, anything new? There's definitely some um, upgrades to the graphics, um, but also, like, there's some additional storylines and such. Uh, there's also alternate dialogue. They re-recorded everything. Uh, Gunner Wright is uh, the voice of Isaac in 2 and 3, and he's in this now, too. Trucker Life said I should upgrade Pulse. Maybe, but I'm like, Pulse is, is just going to be, like, my offhand spare weapon until I get, like, the line. Gun. So I'd rather upgrade my primaries. Isaac, fuel storage is unlocked. It'll give you access to the engine chamber. Oh, that's right. We have to go meet the pregnant necromorphs now, don't we? Uh, yeah, all right, fine. 
Not looking forward to that. Alright, so we're going to fuel storage. What what plays better, Callisto Protocol or Dead Space? I mean, I think um, they're a little different. Callisto Protocol is much more melee focused, but honestly, I I think like Dead Space Remake is the overall better game so far, but it's also pretty new to me. Say, Hammond, I cracked the secure files. DC was here for more than just the mining claim, huh? What do you mean? This outbreak started on the colony after the miners dug up some artifacts. Something alien. That's impossible. But it would explain why Aegis 7 is meant to be off limits, right? Earth got orders. When the miners found the artifact, they reported hallucinations, paranoia, suicides. But the Ishimura brought this marker on board anyway. Like that was a plan. Wait. A marker. Okay, back up. Where's this marker now? In cargo. All packaged up for delivery. Oh, okay. So we had a scene like that in the original game, but that is, uh... Looks like Kendra is uh, a little more uh, suspicious of Hammond now. And yeah, there was a whole lot of Dead Space lore that just got dropped. The remake came out today, Guts. You're right. Uh, Liar Child, thanks for, uh, for following. Christian Rivera, yep, you can fly. You can, uh, you get a lot of the, the goodies that you got in the later games have now been ported over to the first one. And I am really enjoying that. Okay, so... We need to figure out how to power that. Oh, I bet we have to go behind the fan. I don't know which fan. Yeah, it looks like it's that one. That was close. Um, oh, we gotta go in the other way. Uh, unless we can go... Okay, all right, they let us go between them. That's good. Uh, okay, what do these breakers do here? We've got... Normally, let us get closer than this. Uh, airlock 1, airlock 2, and fans. Oh, well, let's shut off the fans, obviously. Oops, something just popped out right next to me. Don't love that. Let's get out of here. Is this the right way? Yep, it is. All right, let's go. Exiting zero gravity. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is the engine room. It does sound a little different. this being worth $70 instead of uh, yeah I mean this looks good I mean if you're not willing to pay 70 bucks that's cool wait until you're ready it'll be there when you are uh, cool all right let's see inventory let's equip the flamethrower which is where there it is equip and we're gonna put you right there all right flamethrower is I know the flamethrower got a lot of flack in the original game for not being super powerful, but like honestly, I like it. Oh, if you're on PC, you can get it through EA Play for 15 bucks. So that's pretty cool. If you're already a, an EA Play member, that's awesome. Ooh. Well, I don't know what that was. Oh, creepy. I know where we are. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta work our way down this little shaft here. Uh, let me get my river back. Okay, clearance level three. Can't get in there yet. What about... There is a door over here, though. Okay. 
That was so much louder than the original. Yeah, I agree. I also have the uh, the audio is not uh, as uh, leveled as I usually do. I just we wanted to get the, the stream up and running, and we didn't have access to the game up until uh, it launched. So normally I'll do like a lot of testing to make sure that everything sounds like perfectly, and this time it was just kind of like nobody wants to watch me fiddle with the audio for 20 minutes. They just want to be like, let's Engineering go. Engineering log. My last log. Temple reporting. I can't raise anyone on Ricklink. I think my team is gone. I found the Kinesis module that someone used to bust the centrifuge. Burned out. Who would sabotage the Ishimura at a time like this? Oh, I know who. I'll report to the bridge. If anyone's left. And then I'm finding Elizabeth and getting us the hell off this ship. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Uh, just a reminder for everybody uh, who's watching. One, my uh, link to my YouTube channel is uh, is in my bio if you want to join at some point. And then two, we'll be back here um, Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, and we're just going to pick off right where, wherever we leave off today. All right, let's go. We're going to pick up where we leave off today. What's this? Come on, med pack. Another. Oh, that looks like it hurt you. Good to know. All right. They don't hurt you much. I don't think I lost any HP. I think it was just, like, for shock value. Uh, is there... Okay, nothing else here. Ah, okay. So, if I use the flamethrower... that then burn this thing? No. I gotta get through there somehow. Oh, I gotta shoot it. That's what it is. Jay Walter, yep, this is the new one. Uh, I'm using the uh, the Ripper primarily. Uh oh, but we need the flamethrower for these little jerks. Ah, get off me! Uh, oh man, they all just jumped up. Yeah. There we go. They kind of they don't totally stun lock you, but they do slow you down when one of them grabs you, and then like every time I shook one off, the other one another one would show up. There we are. But yeah, the remake came out. Uh, it's been out for about four hours. We just started streaming at 8 a.m. Uh, here on the west coast of the U.S., and we've just been going ever since. Let's see anything back here? Something's back here. Credits. Can I get up here? No, okay, fine. We have... What is this? It's like a supply room. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I knew it. All right. Oh man, that was so close. That was wow. Woo. All right. Gave me the XK bug. Thanks for following. Ripper blade schematic. Thank you. I will definitely, definitely need that in the future. Uh, I got my clearance for this. Okay. Uh, Frankie says, are you streaming on Twitch? No, I'm streaming on YouTube, actually. I stream on YouTube. Um, my uh, link to my bio if you want to come over and watch it there. Or hang out on TikTok. Either way, that's cool. Trucker, you really hate it when they did that? Yeah. I'm usually very careful, and then, like, every now and then, I'll just get a little bit cocky. Where are you? Oh, there's a pregnant. I think it's a pregnant. Treat it like one. Whew, okay. Between between that and then this door, it's so tense. Oh man. All right. Let's go scout out what's here. Stasis pack. I will definitely use you. Stasis recharge. Plasma energy. How do you stream games on TikTok? Uh, let's see. So to stream games on TikTok, you have to have a thousand followers, um, and then uh, they have a desktop client called TikTok Live Studio, and it just runs alongside OBS, so I can stream like to YouTube and TikTok at the same time. It's been pretty great because then obviously like I get exposed to like more people than would have found me on YouTube, so like I get to like hang out with more people and meet new folks, and I love it. All right. I don't know what that does, but... Ooh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, what about you? That open. Oh, another security uh, supply room. Cool, let's do that. What else is here? Anything? We have cold semiconductor. Yes. Anything else? I heard something outside, then the door closed. I think it's a flamethrower ready again in case there's more swarmers. Oh, something's out, something's out there. I heard it. I think we collected everything here. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh oh. Speaking of getting overconfident and not checking your corners. Now, as I remember right, there used to be more swarmers over here in this chamber. Sure it sounds like, yep, there they are. Out here. Ah! Right, that's it. Oh, the damage upgrade ripper is so good. I love it. Uh, Correct course immediately. Let's see. We got a couple questions. Uh, does the does the game have directional uh, audio? Yes, it does. I am very excited. I mean, the, it's it's good with headphones, but I have like a great surround sound system at home here, so I am really looking forward to using that. Uh, that one guy, George. Thanks for following. Whoever said Callisto Protocol is obviously fine. I, you know what? There's been a lot of trolls in the thread today, and that's fine. I'm glad everyone's having fun. All right, there's the engine room. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Days without incident error. That's awesome. Uh, wait, where is this? Where are we going? I just want to see. I think, I believe this is where we go after the engine room to get out of the level. So let's, we'll come back here. Rad Mikey. Is this Gears of War? Nah. It kind of looks a little Gears of War-y. All right, yeah, there's a bunch of them here. Man, these legs take a beat. We gotta get some power cells going to get the engine. Uh oh, I hear something. Oh god! It's you! Whew! That was close. I knew he was in this room, I just didn't realize he was gonna come up on me that fast. Uh, let's use a stasis pack. We have so many of them. Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. <laughs> Don't let him fool you, bro. Nice. Joe, thanks for following. Okay, who else is here? Okay, everything's looking fine for right now. Uh, schematic for flamethrower fuel. I'll take that. Power required to restart engine. All right, so let's go find the power cells. Warning. Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. Hey, where are you, power cells? Gotta be here somewhere. Are you hiding behind the stairs, maybe? Nope, but there's stuff here. Credits. You wanna know if they fix the pacing issues? I mean, Robbie, I think it's been paced. I, I think the original was paced well, though, so I don't know if I'm the right person to ask. Um, but I think they really did. Engine power failure. Replace power Robbie, thanks cell for following. Joe, it's not a stupid question. It is on PC, though. I think you can only stream to TikTok on PC. What are you? Flamethrower fuel? All right. Haven't found the power cell yet. It's got to be here somewhere, though. Uh, what about the other side? Uh, 
Uh, what is that? Oh, plasma energy. All right, so there's got to be somewhere around here. Warning. Engine power failure. So we got to put it in. Power cell to begin ignition sequence. Ooh, that. Can I open you? Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to how to replace the power cell. Where are you? Uh, will this play on uh, next gen console? It plays on a Series X and it plays on PS5 for console. Uh, so I don't believe the Series S and Sam uh, will play this game. Warning: Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. Okay, so we gotta yeah power restart. That's where it goes. So where is the power cell? Um, okay, it just moves me there. It's not going to tell me where the power cell is, which is fine. Maybe it's up towards the front. Oh, God, no worry. Yeah, they, they decided to, to just uh, do the, uh, uh, the new consoles for this. There's good and bad to that. Warning. Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. Oh, we, oh, we haven't been up here yet. Ah, there you are. Come here. And credits. And what else is here? Before we grab that power cell, now that we know where it is. Oh, there was a whole other thing right here. Ah, got it. You still play on your PS4. Well, if you ever do get a PS5, or if you uh, if you have a PC to play on, uh, highly recommend it. I'm having a, I'm having a good time. It says compatible. Really? Oh well. I mean, if that's what they say. Initiated. Movement. Actually, I think it's pretty good. Um, the default controls are very different, but you can remap Isaac, to the old controls easily. The Ishimura is moving again. No thanks to ever sabotage the fuck out of these engines. Hey, Isaac, language. Trying to figure it out. Autopilot's taking us into geostationary orbit. But wait, you're flying us through the planet crack debris? That's what the asteroid defense system is for. But the ADS is offline. I've got the system readouts here. Hammond, the Ishimura is in rough shape. A couple of bad strikes can finish her off. Shit. Daniels, give me all the data you have. I'll try to adjust course. That's not gonna work. Isaac, take the train <laughs> from engineering. Meet me on the bridge. I'll lift the station lockdown. We need to work on this together. All right. <laughs> Captain America did just say language. You are correct. Out of anyone, he would have. All right. Save that real quick. It's expensive, but you're saving up to buy a PS5. Okay, well, when you get a PS5, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'm amazed that just there's real, there's been no loading screens the entire game. Like they really did a good job optimizing this to feel like one big place. 
Jay Bueller, you can't wait to play this when you get off work. You're gonna have so much fun. All right. Let's pop a few. And let's get us back in the control room. Uh, it's just about to. Oh. So, here's what I'm really excited about from a lore perspective. We have never had, like, in Dead Space 1, had Isaac be able to respond to Nicole before. So, like, that that interaction happened in the original game, but, of course, Isaac just sat there and listened and did nothing. But now, when, of course, he's like, hey, where are you? Let me come help you. Um, it's going to break my heart. I admit it, but I'm excited for it. All right, we got to drop off some schematics. Yep, Juan Serrano, this is the new one. Just came out today. All right, uh, schematic for flamer fuel and medium med pack and ripper blades. And, ooh, okay, upgrade for the flamethrower. How are we doing on credits? 12,500. Uh, I think we will get... I'm going to hold off on getting uh, another power node just yet because we are, I think, pretty close to getting our level 3 suit. I'm going to sell that off. So I'm going to wait till, till the level 3 suit becomes an option and then get that instead. All right. Um, anything else? No. I think we're good. Is that my current heart rate? Yep. It's just tracking it on my Apple Watch here uh, and then throwing it up on screen. All right. So let's go back to the tram station. Uh, we've already been down there. That was where we saw the autopsy video for Nicole. Or Nicole doing an autopsy. Uh oh See. Brown Streak, thanks for following. All right, let's get back to the train station. All right, Sean Flaherty and uh, DJ Batusson, thank for uh, Joe Batusson, thanks for following. I've already been in there, I think. Let's see, are we going the right way? We are not. No, we were supposed to go a different way. Let's get to the tram station. Uh, let's see. I forgot that they, like, because you don't take the trams normally, or so far we haven't taken too many trams, like in the original game. I keep getting turned around. Lena, thanks for following. Good to be here. Good to have you here. All right. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, we gotta go back this way where we saw all the Nicole stuff. Oh, wait, no, we saw that in a different plot. This is the tram station. There we go. Okay. Anything special we need to do here? That's it for Chapter 3. All right. That's actually probably a good place to go ahead and call it. Uh, I have been at it for about four and a half hours now, so I'm... I could use a break from talking, but um, thank you all for being here. This was so much fun. I had a blast doing this. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. It'll be um, 11 a.m. Sorry, it'll be um, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, our usual time, Saturday and Sunday on YouTube and TikTok. Uh, if you're on TikTok and you want to follow on YouTube, my link's in my bio. Uh, if you're on YouTube, thank you for being here. If you feel like subscribing, love to have you around for future streams. But everybody, thank you all so much. This was a ton of fun to do. I'm so glad the game turned out well. And yes, uh, Malik, it is good. You should buy it. Uh, all right, cool. All right, thanks very much, everybody. And I hope you all have an excellent rest of your day.